Welcome everyone to another episode of Either Realms brought to you by Geek Unleashed. Before we get rolling on our uh, next session of what takes place with our uh, merry crew, I'm going to hand it over to Duke to do some uh, plugs. All right. Well, uh, I really gonna, I need to write an ad for this. So <laughs> do you need some dice? Do you have a loved one who needs some dice? You really missed out on the Mother's Day sale. They had 20% off over the weekend. But anyway, that's besides the point. Uh, if you need some dice, check out Metallic Dice Games. Uh, they have gemstone dice, metal dice, typical plastic dice, glow-in-the-dark mm-hmm. dice. Uh, dice bags, dice trays, all that. Uh, you actually get 20% off using our promo code, Geek Nation. Uh, anything in their store, off your entire order. Uh, so there's a link down in the description below. So if you need some dice, need to give some dice, um, it's a good way to go. Save you some money. So check them out. It's actually metallicdicegames.com. And I'll turn it over to Kelly. <laughs> Eat, grind, coffee, guys. Okay, this stuff is good. I've got Elder's Fathom here. Um, I know we have Elven Enlightenment is a favorite among uh, some of the group, and Smuggler's Run is another one. But um, Geek Grind Coffee, um, wonderful company. They're 100% sourced from um, their fa- own family farm and then all women owned farm. There's like 600 women farmers that they support in Columbia, which is great. And then um, their beans, they're hand harvested. Not a lot of them do that. They're hand harvested and they are sun dried before they are roasted. So it's high quality stuff. Um, Do promo code of Geek Nation and you will get 20% off. And orders over $50 is free shipping. And currently they're only doing whole bean, but big news in june they're gonna start doing ground coffee too so that is awesome so geek grind coffee like i said geek nation good stuff links, links below order now yeah. <laughs> operators link are standing below. by and every, i will say every bag of coffee you purchase does go to help this channel so we appreciate it <clears throat> I know every bag that I purchase goes to help the channel as well because it's caffeine in my system. So <laughs> there you go. That is true as well. Ether Realms fueled by Geek Grind Coffee. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. All right. Let's get started. Let's kick it Let's off, shall we? Go in. All right. Yay. If you uh, don't recall what happened in our last episode, let me do a quick little recap. We'll call this the the library job, as that was uh, what stemmed this whole this this whole uh, uh, adventure. The crew was tasked with finding a secret library that, oddly enough, rested beneath a non-secret library. Um, and using their their skills, were able to infiltrate and access this place. While it was a darkened area, we quickly found out how many had dark vision, um, which is almost everyone, um, except for Lexi, who had her little light. Um, so they got they they entered in there and came across a large tree that had a spirit within it that was able to speak and and talk and with the. Uh, Lorna, leveraging her skills, was able to calm the tree and allow them to uh, navigate the library. Then they did what what all adventuring guides recommend. You find it everywhere. They split the party um, because it makes all kinds of sense. And <clears throat> Lexi uh, managed to uh, pick a lock with an amazing roll to access a secret room, only to find a uh, device. A um, a cryptic, yes, that she set a trap off in, t- stabbing her hand with a poison needle that took her out of the picture for the night as she slowly <laughs> kept getting worse and worse and worse through a series of very, very poor reaction rolls. Fortunately, I love you, Val. <laughs> Val was there to whisk her away 
to an apothecary so she could get treated. And that's where she spent the majority of uh, that heist while the rest moved on. In the back room, caretaker for the library was found. And as Lorna was discussing with him and to kind of, I guess, ascertain his intentions as he was trying to ascertain hers, um, Cedric lurched out of nowhere and <laughs> grabbed him by the scruff of his neck didn't choke him, as I was told several times, but just had him. Yes, he did not choke him. No, that yeah. was had under him. orders, too. Yeah. <laughs> was I, mean, come on. I mean, I guess it was his choice, but... We <laughs> all have choices. <laughs> um, scared the poor guy, as anybody would be with Cedric coming out of nowhere and grabbing you. Uh, grabbing you. Um, and the fact that he was blind, so it's just this strange voice and, and manhandling. Good news was, was that Cattell was there to bring everything down to a calm and more, I would say, I don't know, we'll say befriend, but acquainted herself with, with the caretaker as he opened up to her about his story and how he was not a willing caretaker in this location and that he actually had eyes before he was placed in this, <clears throat> in this library to take care of the books because of the secrets, were, the secrets that were captured um, there that he could not read them, so he could not uh, reveal them. Long story short, so we can get into where we're at, where we're at now is they managed to find the item that they were looking for, which was a uh, series of notes and maps that showed uh, way gates that access different elemental planes that Templeton Fisk, the um, the person who assigned this, this task to them, was pursuing. So, with the notes and such that they took from that, along with some books that Cedric took with him out of the library, which should be interesting when they do their book check, um, they managed to get back upstairs. I don't think we took books. We just took oh, notes, yeah. right? No, they were full books. on books. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I well, did not understand that. <laughs> yeah, we definitely stole stuff. I thought there was like a page that we wouldn't like a, do. A page of something. No, no, they're Oops. they're they're in his they're in his inventory. I know that. <laughs> well, I I know Lauren. No, I used mine, so I think I put right. it back. Does yeah, that class you, yours, were, yours were all like kind of passive, like you were able to like put into effect, and then they gave you the bonus and stuff. His was Got like, it. oh, I'm gonna take this with me. Okay. Um, Let's go find this. What was it? A horn? <laughs> yeah, that oh. was one of them. Yeah. Um. So they're able to slip out of the place with nobody noticing anything um too disturbing at that point in time however there are some books that are still in your possession <laughs> and everybody managed to get back to uh tai chi's luck which is the name of the airship and that is where we begin we have officially named the ship oh tai chi's fortune, <laughs> hey. oh, tai chi's fortune sorry Fortune luck. That's a name. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of the ship. The ship. I can just imagine Lorna consistently leaning over the side to see if a name appears. <laughs> just... <laughs> nope, nothing yet. Carves it in upside down. And <laughs> goes down there and paints it. It's just a big squiggly line. <laughs> just like with dripping paint down the side. <laughs> <laughs> Don't dirty my ship. Sorry. I didn't mean to. <laughs> All right, so let's start there and rewind just a tad bit because that is where we ended off. And there was a little bit of dialogue, but we were trying to wrap up the last session and such. So we rushed through some 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 conversation. Um, it was Cedric, Lorna, and uh, Cattell that were showing up a little, just like right behind Val and, um, no, it was Val and Cedric. And Lorna Cattell and Wynn were together. I got that right. I think we kind of all caught up before we got to the mm -hmm. ship because we just yeah. ran past and got Wynn from the tavern. That's right, because you had to get Wynn at, at, uh, yep. at the tavern. All right, so as you board on there, you see Lexi sitting at uh, the, the table in the main common room area. You hear um, uh, Ratgen in, uh, in the back getting a meal prepared, as you could smell different spices and definitely a meat meal dish of some sort. Say, Nigel, you were that 
Lorna would had was checking out my hand. Yes, I was. Okay. Are you all right? It hurt. It. I don't want to ever go through that again. <laughs> Not at all. But I'm. Where, where's I'm okay. the object that did this? Uh, it was a, a a cryptics I was trying to open up and and needles shot oh, out and injected. We found the book. We found the thing that it was inside of. We put it back. That's good. So we were successful. The item wasn't there, though. It was just the book. But we got the the way gates, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to take the papers. I think I've already given them over. But if not, I will hand them over. Two. I think I took them last time. Yeah, I think you took. We, we kind yeah, of retro yeah. back, so. Yeah, I was just like. Let's play. Catch everyone up. <laughs> yeah, I'll. If, Val has them now. I took them from Wynn. That's right. Yeah. So I'm still a little bit confused why you didn't just ask for help from one of us. Me? Well, if you I don't heard, know who you're looking at, so <laughs> it was kind of a general question to everyone. I was like, if if you hurt, I, oh, I I, I was running help. to find you. I was not with any of you when it happened. I saw, and I ran into Val, and he stopped me, and he ended up whisking me away. Uh, I'll look at Val. I'm very confused. Yeah, Cedric <laughs> also looks over to Val. Um. If I had already gotten the information, I probably stepped out to go and talk to the captain. Bastard. <laughs> How <laughs> convenient. <laughs> uh, for, for future reference, I can help with things like injuries. And I think Cedric can as well. Yes. <laughs> well, that's good to know. I've didn't know you had the skills. I all I know is I was running what... to find somebody. I don't think we know what any of us do, it seems like. We'll figure it out as we go along, I assume. I'm assuming we'll be together for a while. If there are abilities such as healing, that's something that everyone should be aware of at the very least. Well, so now if we I know. could have healed myself, I would have. Because right. like I said, that it, I I was I was close to death. So now we know that if any of us end up in that situation, we go to Lorna or Cedric. I myself don't have that ability. Well, it's good to know. I'm a little confused. Were we actually successful or are we do we think we're going to be arrested tomorrow? Just out of curiosity. Only if the tree decides to say anything. I don't think he will. Maybe, but probably not. We didn't say our names, and the only one who got a look at our faces was the tree itself. We should be uh, all right. Cedric slowly raises his hand. Yes. I uh, said my name. Your Just... real name or, or the one that you keep using as the student? I said Cedric. Just, Just Cedric, though. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll go kill the old man. No, no, oh, no, 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 no. That's not necessary. I don't think he will say anything. He turns back, and nods slowly. And I'm assuming there are probably several other Cedrics, though, if you were to describe your voice, I don't think it will be a problem, though, not from him. What do we do now? Besides possibly eat, if I'm smelling right, 
She looks back over to the kitchen. Not terribly certain what's being cooked over there. <laughs> well, it was late when we returned to the show, though. Mm -hmm. The concert was just inning. Oh, goodness. I am. I'm not actually hungry. Um, I'm going just to go up for some fresh air and I'll- What are you not hungry? I've got meats here. And Ruckin comes out with a big platter. Smells like sausages. May not be sausages, but it smells like it. You don't want the meats. I usually do, but I, sorry, and I'll hurry up. There's a friend in, wasting more time, or meats for me then. Goes back to get some other food. I'm gonna get up and go uh, check on things, and I'll grab something to eat as I go. I kind of stumble because I'm I'm still pretty weak. <laughs> I'll uh, get out of there. Lexi, do you need any more healing than you already got? Are you all right? I'm I'm fine. I, I I'm good. Uh, Sorry. Just just weak. They they said I'll feel much better tomorrow. So I'll I'll be okay. I don't want anyone to worry about me. I I'm fine. I turn and leave because I don't. <laughs> uh, Cedric's eyes follow her up and then look over to Lorna. Do you have any idea what we're supposed to do on the ship? He looks around the room, grabs a mop and holds it in front of him. I think maybe you've already mopped. He looks at the mop. Like, right? Puts it back. Yeah. That's what I thought. Great. So, um, Patel, as you're heading up, you run into Val and the captain who seem to be talking and kind of making their way back to the to the common common uh, area there. Um, the captain pauses for a moment, looks at you and says, are you on your way somewhere or do you have a moment? I was just getting some air. I Was there further discussion needed? Um, I would like to talk to the crew, yes. All right. But if you need air, it can wait. The air can wait. I'd rather get this part over with. All right. A couple steps later and you run into Lexi. <laughs> it's also on her way and he, same thing. So he's making his way back to the, to the common area. Are you well enough to, to meet? I'm fine. He eyes you for a moment, um, and then <clears throat> makes his way on. Uh, he goes in um, where Cedric and Lorna are, are still in there. <clears throat> Apparently, he's in the process of putting a mop mop up. Um, and the uh, captain comes in and. He walks around to the head of the table and sits down and says, if everybody could sit down for a moment. I'll go ahead and sit. I'm already sitting. <laughs> Cedric. I sit even more. <laughs> I'll, I'm going to take Wynn off the table where she's, if I remember correctly, was probably eating something. And uh, yeah. up on my shoulders. Cedric just continues to learn. Hands. Everybody seated. 
Cedric's just looming in the corner, as usual. No. <laughs> yes, the, the captain kind of looks at Cedric for a moment with just this odd look on his face and then turns back to the rest of the group. <clears throat> Val told me what had happened on this particular uh, endeavor, and I apologize. Wasn't my job, and I wasn't aware that it, it held so much risk. I would take it up with Fisk myself, however, Val has asked to address him himself, and I see no problem with that. Is there anything you could tell me about what happened down there that could bring back any blue back to the ship? Cedric starts to slowly raise his hand. <laughs> Yes. The old man knows my name. That would be, and he looks at um, Val, that would be the caretaker, I presume? His name is Isaac. I don't think he'll cause any I made him a promise. I think he'll be fine. It's, there's also a tree. He saw some of our faces, but Lorna also talked him down. So anyone who could possibly identify us, I don't know. A tree? Who's the guardian? It's actually yeah. not yeah. terribly yeah. uncommon. The guardian. Well, where I'm from. Maybe it is here. Where exactly are you from? Uh, sort of. And she like literally points in the direction. <laughs> uh, so does when. <laughs> with with two two hands. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what would what would we find that way? Well, if I could open my backstory thing, it would be nice so that I could give you an actual <laughs> name. But it's not opening right now because my brain froze. Give me one second. Um. It's actually sort of near, on the edge of the Wildwood, a small village. The Wildwood? Hmm. Near the Plain of Air? Hmm. Um, I came through and made my way here. And then Fisk hired you. I spoke to him. I needed to ask some questions, and he offered a deal. Help out for a while, and they'll give me what I need. She Another looks around deal from really Fisk. uncomfortable to everybody else. Not sure if that's an odd thing. She just figures it was normal. And what about you? Uh, Cedric. Shakes his head. I'm sorry? I'm a archaeologist. And how do you know Fisk? Business. Well, if it's business that puts you aboard my ship, then it's my business as well. What sort of business? Debts. I'm sorry, death? Debts. Debts. OK. 
can't hear you through your mask. Sorry. Will these debts have any detriment to the to the crew or this ship? No. Do I have your word? Uh he uh holds his hand out, takes out a blade and stabs it into his hand and like just holds it there. Then pulls the blade out and sticks it back in. Then lowers his hand. Like you stab like through your hand? Yeah. <laughs> That's two points of damage. Not sure where you're from, but I will assume that that means your word is good. He nods his head. Do you need help with that? He flexes his hand and then puts it down. Is it bleeding? Is it? <laughs> um, no, <laughs> it's not. Captain looks, kind of gives a look at Val of concern and I shrug I got him like this is what I'm dealing with Val I know that you want to speak to Fisk I, I'm going to speak with him as well as this these arrangements were not discussed with me and while I don't have a problem with additional crew uh, who do their part. I'm not quite certain what his motivations were of placing you on this particular ship. Um, it's my understanding as well that you do not have experience manning an airship. Is that correct? So what skills is it that you can provide? Um, I well, here, and I'll hold out my hand to Cedric. Um, and I will, I'm going to cast something. Where did it go? What's it called? Fireball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's pretty, yeah, that sounds about right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use, I think it's cure is what I'm looking at. Yeah. I'll, I'll go ahead and use cure. Um, if I, I, I know. I know arts, right? So if I sense that this is the magic that she's intending, I'm going to pull my hand back. Sorry, I was just trying to help. He shakes his head. All right. I can heal people if they're hurt and help that way. Also know nature a lot. And I'm pretty good with a bow. Not too bad with a sword either. I'll glance at Win over my shoulder. And she knows a lot too. A lot about the air, if that helps. It is an airship. True. I suppose. Well, if you're good with a weapon, that always has a place on the ship. So, what about you, Cedric? Other than stabbing yourself. Uh, he uh, places a hand on his uh, rapier and his crossbow at his sides. Um, then he uh, holds his hand in the air and uh, traces a glyph that glows. Um, and then he presses into it and uh, a wall shimmers in front of him that he dissipates and I'll go ahead and remove the energy for that. Um, and because it may not cost you any. What? It might not cost you any. I think Depending it does. what you did. No car. Let me double check. Um, but anyway, um, then he like pulls out a little vial, like shakes it around and it swirls. He puts it back and then he pulls out a, uh, 
<laughs> a little doctor's bag. It has a little red cross on it. <laughs> and he puts it away. So you know the arcane arts, and you're some sort of a medic as well. well on this ship, we have Rabana as a medic, so that's not necessarily needed. However, your, your magical skills and your weaponry seem to speak to your ability there. Then... Looks like more additional crew members are going to be needed. <clears throat> if we're to ever have ever, ever have a need to set out, the last two crew, crew member actually could serve on an airship, but they were not satisfactory shipmates. He gets up. I apologize for what occurred. And I commit to you as my crew that going forward, I will make sure that you are not kept with so little information. And he walks out. So am I staying on the ship or am I leaving? Staying. We can train you. said you were going to be handy. That you could bite. I mean, I suppose so. Do you have to fight a lot on an airship? <laughs> what do you fight in the middle of it? I um, don't yeah. No, never mind. <laughs> I feel wind just tug on my ear. <laughs> As someone familiar with the plane of air, or at least that region, just think about that. Um, I'm going upstairs, and I will. Quickly go up to the deck. Okay. Um, my hand still does hurt. Do you want to try to heal it a little more, see if it'll help at all? Try. Um, would I know which would work better, restore or, I mean, I assume I would know, restore or cure? Um, for her and what's going on, you would want a cure. Cure? Yeah, because the poison's out, so it's just more of healing the wound itself and any okay. damage that may have been done. I will go ahead and do that. I'm not sure how I do that. Uh, do I remove, do I need to remove something? Hang on, let me look. I'm so sorry. Um. It just says it's a standard action. You spend, so it yes. Cost me anything. Yeah, you, you may spend a point of essence to touch a target, oh, yeah. and then you roll um, 1d8 plus your arcana level, which is 2. So 1d8 plus 2, and that is what you feel her for. And it'll cost you one essence, which you take off that left box there. Okay, um, so I'll do that. And then to roll it, I just hit. Oh, goodness, it's hard to tell which one is which. Okay, there we go. Okay. And I add the plus two down at the bottom, correct? When I roll? Um, when you mean down at the bottom, like at the very, very bottom, like underneath the roll screen? Yeah. 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 Because there isn't a roll here for it. No. So. Yeah. Oh, wait, why is it doing 2d8? No, I don't want to do... Oh, 1d8 plus two. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Oh. Well, no. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. It's okay. It's not doing it. It's not letting me do anything. I hit enter and it doesn't do anything. Refresh. <clears throat> May have hiccuped. Um, Just hit F5. Uh, are we paused still? Uh, I'm just going to heal Lexi. That's Here, all. try again. I, I just, I refreshed and it logged me out. So it'll give me just that's, a second. Yeah, that's Apologies. probably what happened then. Yeah. Nice. It was giving me this cog where it was saying the adventure will begin soon. Or Mine was like doing that. the same thing. I just refreshed. Oh, I see you guys all popping back in. <laughs> Hi, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. All right, four points back. That was a very violent roll. Like some of them are like <laughs> flinging it across. Are you? Some of them are like, <laughs> <laughs> um, it's not much, but hopefully it'll help a little. 
that does feel a little better. Thank you so much. Of course. I use my hands a lot, so. <laughs> you work on the ship, right? Down yes. in the engine? Mm -hmm. Is that what it's called? The engine room. I make sure we stay up in the air. That's probably for the best. <laughs> um, well, what are we supposed to do now? Well, I need to go and make sure everything is in order in the engine room. That. I do not know if we're leaving soon or not, so I'm not quite sure what preparations I need to make. Are you there, Val? Yep. Okay. I look at you. <laughs> Are we hanging around for a while? We have some time. And I look at Lorna. Have you seen much combat? Um, a bit when I was younger. Did they ever fight raiding pirates? No, not speci specifically, but I fought other things. Raiding pirates are just, well, like all of us, right? More humanoid than anything else. What about dragon? Have you fought dragons? I kind of grin widely and I walk away. You always like this. I haven't seen any dragons yet. I'd prefer not to. Oh, don't mind, Val. He's always got that messing with people. Making fun of a green skin. Calls me rock gut. That's very unkind of him. Here's a meat pie. Puts it on the table. Are there any, any vegetables or, or fruit on the ship? What's a vegetable? You mean that green stuff? Is that what you're talking about? Who wants to eat that? I mean, we got some. Captain likes it, calls it like a, a solid or something like that. Rather nasty stuff, if you ask me. There's nothing better than the meats. Meat is quite <laughs> good. Um... What if you want to eat a tree? I'll see what I can do. Nobody wants to get on a rock on about not preparing food right. He trots off. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what he said, but I think I think he doesn't hate me. He just likes meat. Um. All right. He cooks them very well. How does the You'll pie get used smell? To it. <laughs> I'm not sure how, how comfortable I am with this. How does the pie smell? <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Scrumptious. Um, you have I'd like to, to think it. Kata would be able to tell which meat is which, but she's not there right now. Yeah. She's a connoisseur. Mm, a of meat? Of oh, meat. yes. The meat. <laughs> Um, all right. Um, well, eat up and I walk out. <laughs> Eventually, he does come back with like a, a plate of like looks like, although it's not as prepared as beautifully as the meat platter that That's he put fine. out there, but it's just kind of a bowl. And there's like random stuff thrown in, so it's not even cut up. <laughs> it's just like a whole green pepper just sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> like the meat's like a beautiful charcuterie. <laughs> <laughs> the veggies are just like. <laughs> it's a deconstructed oh. salad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look at uh, look at when you want anything. When scurries down and grabs a couple things and has no problem tearing in to uh, yeah. the vegetables. Um, I got, I'm going to just grab one of the sausages and 
like I guess a carrot or what something out of that. <laughs> I mean, if there's a whole bell pepper, she'll totally <laughs> grab that. Should eat it like um, an apple. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> Done that a few times. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and go out on the deck and see if I can clamber up the mast to the top. Um, at least that's where I'll be heading. Okay. How late is it? Late. Like super Very late. late. Okay. Okay, then I won't leave the ship. <laughs> You're very tired too. Yeah, I was that took that. a lot I, out of you. I know, but it's like from what just happened, I, I'd I'd like to go do a visit, but I'll I'll wait until I'm rested. <clears throat> All right, is Catella heading anywhere particular, or just getting some air? She is. Um... Okay, so how is the ship like? docked is it floating in the air is one side next to like the um what the the dock and like there's she like where yeah, so would the ship she is, be able to just ship get is like, space and air ship is hovering mm -hmm. right next to uh the pier that runs inward towards the um the main dock area where and so there's you see several ships tethered along the line um, of various sizes and such. So there's there's space out there. It's like, imagine if this was on, like you're on water, there's just no water, it just drops. Mm -hmm. Okay. So she's going to go to um, the back part of the ship and kind of just lean over the railing, not dangerously so or anything. I don't know how you do your job. Pretending to be you. <sighs> that was the fourth hardest thing, most stressful thing. And I can't tell you about it. Okay, and she's just gonna kind of hang out there for a little bit. Yep. Cedric. Um, Cedric is going to, um, after making sure that no one is around, having been the last person in the corner of the room, uh, he's going to slowly peel off the glove and uh, reveal his hand and then um, take out his doctor's kit and some suture and start knitting the flesh back together on both sides. I don't actually know how healing works in the system. It would be um, it'd be a treat check, but <clears throat> you, could, you can take 10 on it and be just fine. You don't have Great. to roll to stitch. You're not under any kind of duress. Okay, he'll take 10. Well, keeping an eye out for uh, anyone coming in. And if they come in, he'll close his fist and hide behind his back. Come. Val, mm -hmm. what are you up to? I'm on the deck. Um, I got like a, a map tube that I'm putting the information in and putting around my shoulder. I take out my pocket watch, look at the back side of the open back side for a moment. Click it shut and head into the city. Okay. Um, just odd. It's kind of how that thing played out the night before, too. Um, especially with Lorna up in the crow's nest, you see Val. You see that interaction from high above where he stops, he pauses, he looks at something, you don't know what it is, he's too far away. Um, and then he heads off. You do see um, Cattell in the, the aft of the ship. Um, kind of looking out seems like she's just doing what like getting air um and just quietly looking off in uh in the distance and that's all you see um she takes her blue scarf thing that has the golden embellishment trim and just kind of puts it over her head kind of wraps herself up in it um imagine lorna is sitting with her knees like you know in front of her so that Wynne can sit on them in front of her. Are you sure this is really what we're supposed to be doing here? Seems an awful waste of time. <sighs> I 
Nathan? Well, I guess we're going to learn to fly an airship. At that, Wynn kind of does a little quick flutter, <laughs> <laughs> flies for a minute, then lands. Show off. <laughs> it's really not fair that you can do that. You never taught me. All right. Well, I guess we could sleep up here. You think they'll let me? And she'll pull her cloak around her. She does like a little, the little the cat turning around and around and <laughs> kind of settles in. And I'm just going to lean my head back. and Got like six paws needing you. Need, 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 need. <laughs> I hope Val can figure out exactly why we were supposed to be. Well, you know, I honestly felt a bit like a death trap. Where is Val heading? Let's see, Templeton Fisk. Dun, All right. Dun, dun. <laughs> <clears throat> so it is late. But you are known, and you get to the the Fisk estate which is on the um, top tier of, of Petra, along with all the other uh, major guild houses and, and estates of guild masters and whatnot. Um, his is not the largest by far, but it is uh, multi, multiple stories, walled off, has a, a garden inside, <clears throat> and many, many, many guards. Um, as you get, you are able to get past the wall into the, the main compound area, but when you get to the front door, one of the guards do stop you and it's like, what do you need? I'm here to see the boss. Is he expecting you? I just look at him like he should know the answer to that and nod. <laughs> Your funeral. He opens the door. <laughs> go in all right um you head in to this large foyer um with this elaborate uh chandelier lit by lit in magical light so that it's sending sparkles all over the place on the marbled floor um you know fist tends to deal with business here in the front area of his house very few times people are actually let in deeper into the estate um and his, he has a uh, study office type space um, right there off the foyer. And you do see there is, um, the doors are, are slightly closed, but cracked open a bit. And you see light coming from within. Okay. A barge in. Okay. So you open the door up and you see um, Fisk is, is there along with... Um, uh, Herman Dower, who is his assistant, um, who's just standing there listening to him as he's um, talking about some some sort of business dealings and whatnot. Uh, but as soon as the door kind of creaks open, he stops and pauses and turns. And here is Mr. Fisk. Switch the battle map. There he is. At least Rubin I hope there one. he is. Mr. Fisk. <laughs> <laughs> I just like a beeline right to the death. What game are you playing at, Fisk? And I, I don't slam the, the two down, but I throw it down pretty, I mean, kind of hard. You gave us a crew and no idea what they can do. You tell us to break into a place with no information on what is inside. Are we that expendable to you? Excuse us a moment, Mr. Dower. Herman, Herman Dower leaves the room. You forget yourself, Mr. Varen. Do you know who you're speaking to? A man who does not give us, or does his homework, or give us any details that we need to do a job that you want us to do. Hmm. Was the job successful? 
we almost lost a member of the crew. That's uh, part of doing business. Was the mission successful? A gesture down to the the uh, tube. Yes. He glances down at the desk for you to set up there. My name was on that letter. If it went south, I cannot afford to go back to jail. Mr. Vernon, the only thing that keeps you out of jail is me. Not a letter that you saw your name on, but nobody else did. You think I am a fool? That I don't know how to run a job? You don't think that I did, knew that your group wasn't aware of what was below? How else was I able to determine that they're going to be capable for future endeavors? A little warning would have been nice. Warning would have ruined the whole strategy. I need to see how they perform without forewarning. If we lost your ship's engineer, then what? I would hire a new ship's engineer. My Perhaps as I shop around for a first officer as well. I stand there and grip my teeth, but I reach in my pocket and produce the puzzle box. And I toss it on his desk. There's your toy. I hope it was worth it. Leave. Okay. And go where? Back to the ship. Okay. Do you feel vindicated? <laughs> for no. Now. Yeah, I was about to say, it's like, for now. I feel like there's another He's already going to start where... replacing me. <laughs> yeah, you're expected. Better have that second character sheet ready to go. I know. Let me start working on that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot to preface that. Everybody else make up five. <laughs> <laughs> so as you are are leaving out there the guard at the front door said how'd it go i'm gonna pick a fight with this guy <laughs> <laughs> are you feeling lucky <laughs> Kind of, I, I stand up to him and size him up and down. Is he bigger than me? Like, he is wise. bigger. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh please! It happened again. Oh no! Are you kidding? Oh, what am I gonna do? You can hear, hear him. The guard's <laughs> giving you right now. He's just mad dogging you. I'll punch him without run away. <laughs> I gut check him and teleport. There you go. Am I reconnected back on? Can you? Uh, you we can, can hear you, yeah, but you're still all right. making the face. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay. I'm just trying to face perfectly still and talk at the same time. It's just it's a ventriloquism thing I'm working on. You're kind of jerky right now, so you're lagging. To, yeah. But don't do that. No. <laughs> <laughs> you literally look like you went from one to the other without anything in between. <laughs> Super fast. <sighs> the flesh. You can't see me. Am I here? Am I here? Am I here? Am I here? <laughs> All right. Sorry about that. I don't know what's going on with the internet, but I will find out. You messed it up. I don't know how that played out. So did you weren't like I I heard you're gonna sucker punch him or something. <laughs> I don't know how that actually went down. <laughs> yeah, I, I will like I wanna like gut punch him and then teleport away. Oh, <laughs> That's just low. <laughs> Go ahead and um click on your total attack. Okay. Cool, please. Total attack? Okay. I clicked on it, but nothing happened. Oh, uh, did you have you refreshed too? No, no.
refreshed and there we go there it is hey yeah all right um you got just slam him in his stomach like, or like he didn't even expect it because you know he's not used to people picking on him right there at the front door of fisk's house and as he lifts his head up I'm like hey, you're gone i love it so much <laughs> And you hear, you hear in the distance out there, damn it, Varen! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this would have been something that's happened before. He <laughs> should have ex been expecting it, and yet he never does. Every I time. <laughs> I would agree. He definitely has that vibe. <laughs> See, what we don't realize is that the reason why he does that is because he's the guy that broke his horn. Maybe? <laughs> I know. We're gonna figure it out one day. <laughs> one day. But today one is day. not that day. <laughs> All right. Any other events for this evening? Um, by the time Katal is tuckered out, she's actually just gonna curl up right where she is in a little ball and fall asleep right there on the deck. Right there on the deck under the beautiful aurora borealis that is above in the sky hues of pink and turquoise and lavender mm. beautiful in fact uh after stitching back his hand and his glove cedric's gonna go outside and just uh walk around the deck at night looking at the city and the sky and the sleeping people just looking at it all he's like really in looking <laughs> <laughs> Just looking down. Wait, what was this thing? See, you just see Wynn's head pop through like the railings up in yeah. the <laughs> like... Cedric looks over, just cranks his neck. <laughs> and Wynn ducks back. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um you wake I'll wake up wherever you happen to hunker down and fall asleep. Um next morning la um really starting to hear the ringing of the bell the ship's bells things like that as as action starts to pick up on the on the docks of um airships preparing to take off or those just coming um coming in unloading goods things like that so there's just a lot of noise there on the docks and such and stiff from sleeping on the hard wood of the ship but um rested nonetheless what is this morning's plans? Well, Katel did not eat last night, and she's starving, so Breakfast. she's gonna go down and look for pies. food. <laughs> What's that? Breakfast pies. Yeah. Breakfast meat pies. <laughs> I'm looking for the meat. <laughs> You're in luck. <laughs> um, Lorna is just gonna stand up, and she wants to like because she's up high, she can see the city mm -hmm. and she's just going to be standing there leaning against um the railing i'm guessing she probably didn't finish whatever she took up there because she just wouldn't uh, probably so probably munching on that bell pepper <laughs> like, that's what she's stuck in there and she's just kind of like munching on it as she's watching the city but very much just observing it from afar um, right. There's definitely a lot of action happening out there, yeah. and, and you find too that the the fortune is actually one of the smaller airships. There's just mighty, massive um, uh, airships that you see docked off, especially in the distance, like way far off. Um, very, very large vessels and such, and you think you can see even cannons and such along the sides and um, on um, along the the vessels, and then there's um, just different makes, different, et cetera. Lots of different races mingling around and such. It's um, a very cosmopolitan city with everything ranging from uh, the more human looking to um, you see a centaur trotting along, you see uh, minotaurs, you see um, uh, uh, gobs, you see it just just mix all around. They seem just to be interacting with each other. Um, occasionally you, you see some different races kind of getting by each other and kind of giving each other the cold stare, but doesn't seem to break out. There is a strong military presence on the docks as well, um, uh, bearing the, um, uh, the Petra city uh, symbol, 
which I have, but it's not loaded in here, so I'm not going to take the time to load it. But I'll get it in there, and I'll show you <laughs> another time. Um, but yeah, just a lot, of, a lot of action going on and shouting and yelling and just very different from what you're used to. Not the rest of you. I bring Lexi her favorite meat pie for breakfast. Let's check on her. Thanks, Val. <laughs> I am feeling much better. Good. How long are we going to be here? If you leave in the captain says, we do. I just want to know if I have time to go see Atrix. I'm sure you won't mind. How long has it been since we've been Petra? You've been here for a while, a bit, a bit of time. I'd say no. probably a week and a half. Oh, so I've, I've seen him probably mm -hmm. a couple times. Okay, I didn't yeah. know how long we'd been here. Yeah, so. yeah. Okay. One last visit before we head out, I'm assuming, eventually. Unless we have another job that we're going to be doing. No, it's a well, there's this museum. There's a secret museum underneath this museum. So <laughs> I break the fourth wall and throw this meat pie at the DM's face. <laughs> <laughs> um, Cedric's uh, since about early dawn has just been like mopping down the deck. The cleanest that deck has ever been. Yeah. <laughs> it's a ten by ten area. That's spotless. Yeah. <laughs> Just the whole time for hours, just not stopping, just doing it back and forth. I'm sure I slip on it when I go see the captain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so polished. So who's not... who's heading to the common room for breakfast? Me. Katel. Katel. Sorry, just Katel. <laughs> no, because the captain is too, so you'll run into oh. him. All right, so you see that there is um, uh, lots of bacon and breakfast sausages, and there is um, some fruit that Rotkin puts down begrudgingly. But the captain picks up an apple and with a knife and just starts slicing it off and, and eating it as you're, as you're coming in. Good morning. Good morning. I'll go find a spot to sit. Right. Those just the two of you. I'm just loading up on the bacon and what else was there? Breakfast sausages and some fruit. I like I have like this like this much bacon, <laughs> this much sausage. <laughs> I can't say sausage. <laughs> and <laughs> I wasn't gonna and, say that. <laughs> nope. I will call myself out. Um and like like three grapes. <laughs> <laughs> right on the top. <laughs> Those little uh, toothpicks through them. <laughs> Hang it all down. And just start silently eating. Is it comfortable? Is what comfortable? The deck. You were sleeping on it. Is it, is it comfortable? I mean, it's familiar. Just eat. He'll, he lets it lie. Um, Cedric eventually comes into the common room, uh, hangs up the mop, puts the bucket away, and just walks over to the corner and watches people eat. Rotgan's Rock, there and he's <clears throat> cleaning up stuff and looks like, You never eat the meats! Why do I waste more time? What do you eat? He shrugs. He shrugs. That's, he shrugs. He shrugs. And he walks off. <laughs> he shrugs. Cedric watches him go. Then looks back at people eating. So the captain's there. He doesn't... He acknowledges you there, but doesn't engage you in conversation. Because he's not quite sure about you. That's fair.
We have two quiet people. Yeah. So, <laughs> so once the, the captain, um, he finishes his meal, he's like, have you seen Val? I haven't, no. I came straight down. I didn't eat last night. Is that uh mission I'll say, although it was not <clears throat> what I would call one. Was it that troublesome? Um, it wasn't the uh, the mission itself. It was it just brought back some memories and I had to pretend to be someone else. It was difficult. It's it was a personal anxiety, not the mission. The mission was fine. I'm used to that sort of thing. I'm just used to being the soldier taking orders. Again, my apologies. That was not my intent to put you in that type of a situation. I'll get over it. Very well. He heads off to go find Val. Is Val, um, is Val, uh, hanging out with Lexi? Is that, is he still there or? I mean, I, I would have been. She was wanting to know when we're leaving, so I probably would have left soon after to find the captain. Clear it with, uh, she's going to go see Atrix. All right. So as you're in there, you're kind of about to depart. The captain kind of appears in the um, doorway there. And it's like, Val, so you're here. So you're looking for Lexi. How are you doing? I'm, I'm doing much better this morning. I say Lorna, she healed me up even more. And then my hand's feeling much better. I'll be fine. How, how's the ship? It's ready to go. I have everything. I wasn't sure when we were going to leave, so I've been trying to make sure that if we need to go at a moment's notice that we could go. We'll be leaving soon, actually. One of Fisk's men came by this early this morning, woke me. Apparently he wants us out of the city. I'm not sure why. But let's get it ready. How much time do we have? I would like to leave tomorrow morning. I'll be ready. Very good. Do we know where we're going? Um, yes, actually, no. I have to look over here. Harbor Rock. Harbor Rock, you said? Harbor Rock. And Where's then, that? <laughs> this one down one of the canyon runs. And then uh, on to Mermir, which is not a place I'm looking forward to going. Why? It's swamplands. <laughs> I'll brief the crew uh, once I you have a chance to wake up, eat, and we'll discuss um, at lunchtime. In the meantime, <clears throat> Val, I'm going to go and get those additional crew members. I wasn't expecting us to have to leave so soon, <clears throat> so now I've got to go dig them out of whatever tavern they've buried themselves in. Permission to speak freely, sir. Granted. I do not trust Fisk. <laughs> Who would? <laughs> <clears throat> Just keep that close to your chest and keep your eyes open. You'll be all right. Good news is, is that we won't be here. And he heads off. 
Are you ready for another adventure? I look, uh, I look concerned. Too excited. I look a little concerned. Uh, my hand goes to the small pocket that the watch is in. I don't pull it out, but I stop a moment and go up, go up top side. <clears throat> Uh, L Lorna, you're up on you're up in the crows. You see the captain depart the fortune. He heads off into into the into the um, oh, dock area. Look at when where he's supposed he's going? Isn't the captain supposed to stay with the ship? She has no idea. That's what she's <laughs> assuming. <laughs> she read like one book <laughs> at one point. It was fiction about a ship. <laughs> and that's where winds of a shared mind. <laughs> She saw you reading that book, therefore. <laughs> it must be true. It's got to be true. I think I like it better up here. Everything's really noisy down there. She'll just keep watching. She's completely content being up here. <laughs> Wind's taken to stretching her wings a little bit though and she like does like little circles flies around then lands back up and <clears throat> periodically any big plans for this day um that depends on whether she could tell knows that they're leaving or not uh she will after that meal so <clears throat> i guess up to until lunchtime any big plans I, I want to go see um, Atrix okay. for just a quick visit since I know we'll be heading out. And then I'll be back in the ship preparing to leave. Okay. Um, Cedric's going to set up somewhere and start polishing his rapier. Each of the bolt heads um, that he's got. Maybe also mix up a couple of brews. And he said rapier, not the mass, Lorna. Right. Yeah, this <laughs> one's long and skinny. That is big and thick. <laughs> All right, so let's let's take a break. <laughs> that was not me that time. <laughs> <laughs> I had okay. to give her a hard time. I mean <laughs> it's fair. I earned it. It's you said polishing. Fair. Yo. It's fair. I own it. I accept it. It's completely fair. Well, put out there, it does have a shelf life, though. <laughs> no, these are the ones that, like, six months down the road. Well, I didn't say how long the shelf life was. Through. It just has one at some point. I'm in the old home, and I just get excited. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> Hey, I'm gonna go polish a mask. You want to... <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, we'll be right back after a five minute break. <laughs> I'm back for the briefing of the captain. Um, so you're all he gathers you up or Val gathers it up, whoever can count, just kind of pulls everybody into this, this main room. Additionally, he's brought, there's two other individuals there as well. One of them is a large, massive minotaur. Fresh meat. <laughs> who goes by the name of Sakabi. 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 S-I-K-A-B-E. And the other one is a, um, very large wolf-like uh, creature, uh, bipedal, standing on, on two legs, um, named Zev, Z-E-V. All righty. Sakabi is rather quiet. Zev, though, um, seems to find humor in many different things. <laughs> so <laughs> even things that aren't that funny. Just So it's almost like he's always on some inside joke that only he's in on. Fun. Um, and that's just in the just brief moments that you've been in the same room with him. <laughs> cool, cool. 
So everybody gathers in. <clears throat> uh, Ratkin, again, has um, some food prepared out there. And this time, there is actually some prepared vegetables and that actually have been cut. Um, that's about all that's been done to them. <laughs> but they've been cut. So, And that's laying out in front uh, along with uh, meat. A meat trays and such and some in a um looks like some sort of a stew that's out there um so as you're it gives the captain gives everybody a chance to get some food in their in their stomachs before so we got another job at least this one i know a little bit more about so we're going to be ne needing to depart um tomorrow morning heading to a town uh, actually two destinations the first As soon as we get back. Uh, right. <laughs> and first... it happened like during the break. That was Jeez. ideal. Dang. All right. I've been watching uh, V. Dave Walters. Uh, one, we're going to be hauling some goods. Oh, there you are. Oh. You, you cut out really bad. Yeah. Yeah, no, here's the weird thing. I hear you. I know it because I can hear you saying it. I... <laughs> <laughs> So I'm over there with Rotgut and giving him an idea. So you take your meat pie, you mix meat, cheese, potatoes, <laughs> and you serve it with put eggs in it on top. And then you bake it like a breakfast pie. It'd be highly popular. Potatoes. <laughs> potatoes are actually potatoes, quite... eh? Yeah. yeah. Mash them, boil them, stick them in a stew. <laughs> What cash you in my mouth to say it? <laughs> I could not. <laughs> I was just sniffing, like takes a spoonful of the soup uh -oh. and sniffs it. Oh, we'll now be, we're gonna be we'll all take another crazy. Break they come back. All right, right there, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. All right, we're back. We're back. Hey. Yay. Sorry. Howie. Internet is evil sometimes. No, but it is. It, it really Interwebs. is. While you were gone, I taught Rod Gut how to make a breakfast pie. Yeah, I responded to that, but I guess that was all missed. <laughs> and, and Lorna is sniffing the soup very concernedly. Uh. Rockan does not take kindly to you <laughs> asking questions about his food. Get my kitchen. That was my reaction, but now I've lost the moment, so I'm gonna move on. <laughs> Moving on. Many Where are we going? <laughs> so the captain says, uh, "We're going to be heading to uh, two two destinations. The first one, we're going to be dropping off some goods at Harbor Rock, which is." Not along one of the main canyon runs. It's um, used to be a more frequented place, but um, I haven't been there in probably uh, a year, year maybe more. It's the last time I was there. Um, it's fine enough town, easy enough to to get to. There's not, uh, they don't have uh, any sky docks though in the town itself, so we'll have to dock outside and just outside and head in. We'll drop some goods off there, but then um, from what I understood from the messenger, there's a, uh, our next destination is a place uh, called Mir Mir, which I have heard of, have not been to myself, but it's near the, um, the swamp lands, which I'm not happy about, um, mainly because of the smell, but apparently there's a, uh, an associate of uh, Mr. Fisk's named uh, Professor Goodall, um, who needs our assistance, and that's all that the letter says in that space. So, but it's all, but we'll pass Harbor Rock on the way. All righty. These uh, two individuals here, these are uh, new crew members. 
They've served on airships in the past, Mr. Sakabi. And the mentor. <clears throat> Hello. And Mr. Zev. <laughs> hey. Um. Cassel just kind of tilts her head at them. Mostly Zev. You notice you tilt his head and he starts laughing even more. <laughs> Lauren just whispers to, to him when, what is he laughing at? I'm assuming Wynn's just cheeks full of food. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Wynn's just kind of sitting on her haunches there, just eating food and just looking at him like, what? <laughs> <laughs> she just... mimics Cattell. She just mimics Cattell. <laughs> <laughs> the whole table just tilts. Yeah. And you realize it's the ship flipping over. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> they said failing at my job. <laughs> About now, Lorna actually decides to try and taste the soup. <laughs> She's been very uncertain this entire time. There's a lot of meat in that stew. None of it's going to kill you. Are you quite certain? I, mean, I probably would have dropped dead by now. Same here. Fair enough. I don't mind meat. It's just usually you try to mix it with other things. He usually just mixes one animal with another. And he spices it. All right then. Uh, so we're heading towards the swamplands then. Is there anything we should know that we should be aware of? Um, Besides the smell, the, as you said. The smell mainly. Um, other than, you know, other any threats mm -hmm. that we could encounter in any particular place, but that's what we're all here for, um, is to deal with that. Um, but it's a professor. I'm trying to read into it. I sent a runner this morning after I got it back to Fist to see if I could find out some more about what this assistance is that he needs. Where we're going, either the Harbor Rock or Mirror Mirror, are there any places I can send letters from? Are you asking the captain? You're asking me. Both. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Captains, um, <clears throat> Possibly you can get an ethogram out of Harbor Rock if they if they still have the services up and running. It was there the last time I was in that town. Uh, Mir Mir, I'm not sure about. I've never been there before. All right. Is there anything else that you need from us before we go? If there's any personal things that you needed for yourselves before we depart, um, Harbor Rock's a good ways out, but that's still um, within the Shattered Lands. And with Miramir even further beyond, it could be a while before we're back in Petra again. All right. You know, as he's saying that too, he's kind of looking at Lexi. In that case, I'm actually going to go and take care of some business me too i got some visiting to do um could i possibly go with one of you i i just want to find a place to buy, buy some fruit before we take off i mean i have to write what i'm going to take care of first but i can i you don't can come with me i pass all kinds of stuff as i go yeah either way all right. Um, it, is there somewhere not too far from the ship? 
I just want to be able to get back if you want to, to meet your friend. Let's see. We're fine. We'll, we'll get you all taken care of. Come on, let's go. All right. And she'll, yeah. Wind's already halfway out the door. <laughs> Oi, Oi, best friend, come I'm back. Never with her. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, oh, bye. <laughs> she's like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not entirely sure those two together is a good idea. <laughs> I'm gonna go write my letter. Okay. Now, Cedric. Um. Cedric's just been eyeing the newcomers, um, in particular the knoll, I'm guessing, or whatever that creature is, the laughing one. Mm -hmm. um, just, just looking, looking at him intensely. He knows you're looking and snickers. <laughs> and he kind of. Walks out, <clears throat> back up to the top deck. So Cedric watches him go, then looks at uh, who's left in the room. Just uh, Sakabi and Val are still in the room. Sakabi just notices you look at. He's like, ignore him. Uh, he looks at Sakabi and then he looks at Val. Ignore him. And he reaches over and grabs up. Sakabi does, grabs a bowl of the stew, and then he walks out too. And he's just... he trots up to the top deck. Okay. So now it's just Val and Cedric. Okay, so now now that you're the only one there, Cedric is just looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> I attempt to make awkward conversation. Okay. Roll for awkward conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Should I roll for silence? <laughs> <laughs> what would happen if you rolled a one? That's what I was you just start too. screaming. <laughs> if I, control, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't care. Control myself. I want to hear this conversation. Though. Me too. I know. I'm intrigued too. Now I'm just kind of like waiting to see how this one goes. I want some popcorn so I can watch so, awkwardness. <laughs> what do you do for fun? Uh, he looks at you. Um, looks at the ground, looks over at the mop, like it starts reaching out towards the mop, and just grabs it and holds it. It's not quite a hobby. Do you build brew mops? Brooms? Do you collect them? He, he mimes like mopping with the mop. Then he stops. So you like to clean? Any particular reason why? Shrugs, puts the mop back. Looks at your broken horn. <laughs> and just staring, just staring at it now. Touch it, touch it. I start to feel very uh, uncomfortable. I pat him on the, the shoulder and walk past and say, good talk. Uh, he turns, watches you go up the stairs. Follows <laughs> with his mop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, looks around the room, notices like a little bit of soup on the ground, grabs the mop and the bucket, and walks over and starts mopping underneath the soup table. Behind his mask, does he smile a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I guess I guess I guess a little bit. Just a little. The best gift we can give him is spilling things on the floor. <laughs> All right. Um Lexi and Lorna. <clears throat> and so I could tell you're writing your letter. Mm -hmm. Val, where were you going? Oh, just to the deck. I am real. Just uh, look out. Okay. Well, that's fine. I guess you can show the ropes to the, the two yeah, new crew members. 
Um, so heading out to the city, you, are, you, you see stalls everywhere out there and such where, um, especially as you get a little bit deeper in from the, the Sky Harbor, there are little shops and such that are selling to crew members and such that can just are there for like quick stopovers so they don't have to go too deep in the city. And that includes fruits and such as well um, and various states of ripeness. Um, there's also meats, vegetables, fish, all sorts of things. Um, how much is that exactly do people pay here for fruits and vegetables? I'm not, this isn't where I'm normally from, obviously. Um, I have no idea how much to do this stuff. Running depends what you're buying, but you know, typically a couple cogs. I don't even know how much money I have. <laughs> I it's on your, have it's on your gear tab. It's on my gear tab? Mm -hmm. Which you might not see. You have to click the little arrow to the yeah, right to get over it to it. Um, I have no money. Never mind. <laughs> I have all zero. I don't zero. think any of us have money. Technically, you At have least a bag in their of my gold you never gave back. That's true. Do. You do that have that true. bag of gold. <laughs> That's that... Um, that bit out there. I do. I threw it to you to buy. He tossed to you and man. you caught it. I never asked That's for it right. Back. That's right. Um, all right. <laughs> I guess I'll open that because I don't have any of my own. So <laughs> I have zero. Yeah, you actually didn't. For... Katel actually does have some gold. I just. I should. I actually yes. really, really. I, I figured I, just I might have that, had um... some little bit, but I don't know. Did I get a signing bonus? <laughs> you do now. <laughs> she wouldn't have spent anything that she got leaving where she was before, um, out, except out of necessity. She's got some loot now. Um, how? I guess I'll. Uh, we'll say he's. Uh, okay. I don't know how much it was in that pouch that you threw her since it was yeah. your money. I don't even know what I had. I just threw a bag of gold at her. So. <laughs> well, give me a number. How much do you think was in there? Just tell me to roll something. And I'll... <laughs> Regardless of what it is, like Lorden's going to think she's rich. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, uh, D six times something or D four times something. Do um. Yeah, let's do um. Try and like pouch. D4, About five D ten. Five D ten. Yeah. Okay. You don't know what mo what currency type it's going to be though. So. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Just rolled one. No, just rolled, rolled one. one. But that <laughs> was a nine. We'll keep that one. It, it, you rolled it plus five instead of oh. tap tap the ten five times and then okay. and roll it. Ooh. Your ghost dice. That's a lot of ones. Yeah, wow. <laughs> the first one was a nine. <laughs> so fifteen is what was in that pouch. Uh fifteen marks was in there. Um, okay. Which would be equivalent of silver. All right. Um, wow, glad you got that crap roll out of the way. Holy cow. <laughs> For that many dice? Answer. Yeah. I know. Mean, I'm like going, you have the potential on. to get 50 on that. <laughs> Dang. Um, all right. Uh, I suppose, do you want anything? If you're going to head off, it's back that way to the ship. Right? Or do you want me to come with you? That's up to you. You can come with me if you want. It's only going to be a quick trip. All right. Um, I suppose we can stop here on our way back, or do you want me to buy it now? We can do it on the way back. All right. Uh, Lauren is just going to be paying attention to what's there as she walks and trying to listen in and see like how much are people paying for things, because she has no idea. <laughs> Yeah, just for like a piece of fruit. It's like a cog. Okay. <clears throat> which is like a copper. So yeah. Really okay. Cute. We'll go to wherever. Let's see. I don't know. I, I'm assuming it's a little bit further down to go see him. So. Yes, yeah, so you'll have to. So um, from the docks themselves, there are lifts that you can take to get to um, the different levels. Yeah. Real fast. Where is. 
is my little green friend. Because <laughs> you um, said she scampered off ahead. <laughs> now Wynn I'm kind has of apparently concerned. already already um, procured some 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 goods as uh, she's got so she's got her running on her back her back four legs with this melon over her head. <laughs> Yes. How? Why? And I'm just gonna open up my bag. And like, so maybe you should take Win back. <laughs> um. Well, I mean, it's better than a gold chain. That's, I that's true. Um. Speak of the devil. Uh, <laughs> I'll just uh, and I'm just gonna scoop her up and put her on my shoulders. There she is. <laughs> there you go, guys. Um, Props. <laughs> spray paint of green. Really perfect timing. Um, I'm just going to scoop her up, much to probably her chagrin, and put her on my shoulders. And I'll just, um, I'll just, just make sure she stays with me. Um, and I'll get the melons in my bag now. <laughs> so. You can't see her like as she's curled up there, but you just get the sense like she's pouting. Oh yeah, big time. And I'll just be whispering to her. I told you, you can't just go off and take things. It's not but like back home. Everybody expects to be paid here. Hmm. Plus you don't have anything to trade. I'll just be like arguing. So. <laughs> Love oh. it. Yeah. All right, so you get a lift and you take it down to <clears throat> to the, the lower levels down there were the, the um, kind of the low the low middle class residential areas are um, and then you also take some roads and you know it does take a bit of time out there you're probably looking at about a um, couple hours to get all the way to that spot it's a nice quaint stone building um, looks very much like a bunch of other quaint stone buildings nestled into this particular area um, and Lexi. Knock, knock, knock. It's quiet for a moment. And <clears throat> you hear, you know, you don't have to knock. <laughs> I know, but I have someone with me. Oh, well, bring him in. Bring him in. Like a motion for them to come in. I'm going to look at where <laughs> Wayne is. Take nothing. <laughs> oh, you head inside. Yeah. All right. So you go in. It's a nice. I mean, it's a, a small uh, main room there, right inside the doorway. Um, you smell some something's cooking, um, but um, almost has like a. Um, Smells like, like chicken type smell, kind of wafted in the air. And you see this um, large, it's like bipedal turtle, kind of with a cane, kind of limp across the room. Hello there. Who is this, Lexi? As he reaches out to give her a hug. I hug him. And I said, well, this is Lorna. Lorna is new on the ship that I'm working. Lorna, oh. this is Atrix. A pleasure to meet you, Lorna. Come, come, sit, sit. Are you hungry? Do you need to eat? Lexi, do you need Absolutely. to eat? Absolutely. <laughs> sit, and he hobbles back into the back area <clears throat> where the smell's coming from. And I he looked moved. to Lorna and I said, Atrix is my mentor. He's the one that taught me how to work ships. Oh. Well, did you learn here? Is this where you grew up? I, I grew up a lot on uh, ships the past few years with Atrix as my mentor until I got my own ship to work. So he works on another ship, but he also has a house here? He, he does not work ships anymore. Oh. No, no, he comes back in. Oh, I got hurt. And he comes and he's got a bowl. Let's look like, like a chicken 
soup of some sort. And <clears throat> he hands it to you, Lorna. I'll take it. It's got a spoon sitting in it. Oh, thank you. Yep, yeah, taught Lexi everything she knows. Sure did. But didn't teach her everything I know. And he scruffles up her hair and goes back <laughs> into the kitchen. He seems nice. He's wonderful. He's known me since I was very little. Very little. He yells from the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> so do you stay with him often when you're here? I make sure I see him every time I'm here. It's like someone's got to take care of the old man. <laughs> I just have a limp. I'm not old. And he comes back in with another bowl because he's got his crutch, so he can only do one at a time. <laughs> so he hands it to Lexi. <laughs> When he goes back, should one of us have offered to help him? He'll tell you not to. That I understand. My grandfather was the same way. He's stubborn. <laughs> and he finally comes back in. That may be true. But my way seemed to be doing me just fine. He gets over and he slowly hunkers down into a chair this large massive chair is there obvious like what caused his in, like is the leg maimed in some way or is it just you know uh, like is it an internal damage that you can't see from the outside or is it not that i'm knowledgeable of turtle anatomy <laughs> as you look his legs he actually doesn't have one Oh, well, like, yeah. That'd be pretty obvious. <laughs> <He> lost it. <laughs> yeah. So he does, he does, I mean, he's, step, he's walking on it. There's something there, but she has, you're looking a little bit close and he tries to cover it up as much as he can, but you're looking, it's like, yeah, that's not the same leg that's on that other, yeah. on the other part of his body. This yeah. is something. Each time he walks back in the room, Wynn is like whispering in my ear to ask him. <laughs> Do it. He was like, I'm just, the entire time just ignoring her, just like. <laughs> <laughs> Do those things. Um, thank you for the meal. I appreciate it. Oh, I you're most welcome. Eating. Most welcome indeed. Does it taste doesn't bring friends rockets. here too many times. Well, the crew, you know, I haven't gotten to know them that well. But you have met Val before. Once. Yes. What yeah. happened to his horn? I still have it. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to get him to tell me, and he will not open up to let me know what it is because I really want to know. It's driving me nuts. Probably broke it tripping. I think the same. Maybe he just, just wants doesn't... to make it sound bigger than what it is. You're like around a mouthful of food. Mm -hmm. Maybe he just doesn't want to talk about it. I mean, often injuries. Actually, I don't know that where I come from, they kind of tend to boast about them, scars and all that. So one maybe, day he'll tell us one day I'm going to get it out of him. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Although even when I was near death, he would not tell me. Maybe he won't. I don't know. We'll find out. Well, I'd prefer if you didn't try and die again almost I prefer it too <laughs> when were you near death Fisk sent our group on a uh a mission of sorts to find something and it didn't go very well for me what do you was, mean it didn't go well i was injected with some type of poison when i was trying to open a little puzzle cryptic thing and if is this it wasn't... a job for fisk yes to the inferno with that man he'll be the death of all of us but val val got me out of there although i do found out, find out that lorna here actually she heals she's gonna be very handy mm. you're a doctor uh, no, I just have a, an affinity to be able to do certain things 
magically, I suppose you would say. Something I've been able to do since I was very young. To be able to heal with the arcane arts, it's a rare gift. Well, it's pretty common where I come from, at least in my family. Where do you hail from? Um, not from here. <laughs> um, a small, t- small village, uh, Irushan. It's near the Wildwood. Not now. I've heard of it. <laughs> You're that cat. <laughs> <laughs> That's Wen's new voice. I swear, <laughs> it's just her. Yeah. She wants some of the in. soup. I just like hold up the bowls. <laughs> um, I don't know if you've ever been near the Wildwood, but that's where. I haven't been there in a while, though. So, it's been a while. Yeah. The Wildwood is a dangerous place. I haven't been there myself. It can be if you don't know it. I presume then you do know it? I don't think anyone knows in the Wildwood, even those who claim. Those who claim probably are fools and are lucky to have made it out alive. You feel wind kind of tug your hair. <laughs> yeah. You jerk it. Well. So how do you end up from leaving the Wildwood and then <clears throat> working for Fisk? Um, came looking for a few things, some information, and Fisk was the easiest way to find it. Well, he's not good for many things, but he is good for information. We'll give him that. I'm getting that view. I didn't much care for the mission he sent us on, especially with how little we knew about it. Are all the missions he sends you on so blind? Sometimes. I found that things went more smoothly when we were away from Petra and out from under his shadow. We are departing tomorrow. I thought as much since your visit here, but you must be leaving soon. We're leaving in the morning for Where? Harbor Rock. Harbor Rock. And then on to somewhere else uh, near the Swamplands, I uh, think. Mir Mir? Mir Mir? never been there. Where are you going to Mir Mir for? Some professor? Yeah, so that's right. There was professor aid. or something. Have you ever been? Professor Goodall? I have, actually. I have been there. Place. Very dangerous. What kind of danger? Well, it sits in a place they call the Swamp of Oblivion. So that <laughs> gives you an indication. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Doesn't sound very pleasant. Uh, no, although part of me feels that the people that live in Mir Mir make made the name up to make themselves sound more important than they really were. Oh. All the captains seem to know is that it smells, and he doesn't want to go there. Mm-hmm. He did not. Captain never likes going that direction. He's not a big fan of the Swamplands. Oh. Well, well, I guess we don't I, much have a choice. This is going to be a very eventful trip. Just keep your heads about you. You should be fine. We'll be as careful as we can. How long has it been since you sailed? Do they call it sailing? Flying? Sailing? I understand your meaning. <laughs> no, she's not the term. I would call it sailing. Wind sailing. It's a ship. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sky sailing. Sky sailing. There you go. So, I don't know, six months now? Six months. Since I the accident. Every day. I'm sure you're doing just fine, Lexi. I hope so. The ship's still flying. I guess that's good. She spends a lot of time down in the engine room. At least I don't see her on deck very often. Besides meals. 
Lots of work to be done down there. Especially it's by very, very, It's a very, very complicated engine on the fortune. But like I said, I learned from the best, so I should be just fine. <laughs> that you did. <laughs> well, should we uh, get back? I don't know if you need to work on anything else. No, uh, we, sh we should head back. It takes a couple hours to get back to the ship, so. It's always so crowded outside. Yes. In the cities it is, yes. I'm kind of glad we're leaving. A lot of, lot of open air up in the skies. <laughs> that I'm more used to. Well, I um, make sure that I give him a big hug. <laughs> as you want to, as he <clears throat> starts put, stacking the bowls up. And... Well, I, I hug him and... This... I give him a pouch of um, money. So he has. Do I need to say how much? No. Okay. <clears throat> I say he kind of. He kind of frowns and, and he takes it reluctantly. I squeeze him again. It's like, oh, don't squeeze so hard, you'll crack my shell. Just make sure you you come by as soon as you get back into port. I will. I promise. It was very nice meeting you, Lorna. You as well. Thank you for your hospitality. It was honestly probably the best meal I'm going to get in a while. Really? Is Ratka not, no longer on the ship? Oh, no, he is. It's just... um. She's got to get used to it. She's got to build up her gut. It's a bit one one sided. If you know what I mean. That is true. He likes his meat. <laughs> I don't mind meat. I'm quite partial to it. It's just I prefer to have a little bit more variety, which is why I came with Lexi. She's going to help me uh, purchase a few things. Also, when prefers fruit over well, actually, she'll probably eat anything, but. <laughs> <laughs> so before you go then he goes back into the kitchen and you hear some things racket and whatnot going on he comes back with a sack take this with you you see he's got like fruits and stuff are sitting inside it oh no I, I, I couldn't no 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 please take it I look at Lexi completely <laughs> at a loss um, you'll lose this battle just take it well, can I can I pay you for it? I don't have much. I you paid me with your company. All right then. Uh, thank you. And I'll take the melon out of my bag and put it in there as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, do you even know what this is? <laughs> I assume it's not something we've seen before. The melon? I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's a lemon melon. Oh. Make sure you put sugar on it. Very sour. I'll keep that in mind. And I'll shove it in the bag. I'll go to the door and wait for Lexi so that she can make sure to say any last goodbyes. I'm like, take care of yourself. I will be back. He grabs you by your by your cheeks and leans in close. You be careful too. I promise I will. Alright. We head out. You head out. Okay, <clears throat> and a long journey back up <laughs> um, to the ship. Catal, you have your letter ready. Are you just dropping mm -hmm. it off? Yeah, with the just contents drop it of off. your letter. So, um, do you do it by uh, ethergram? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Just the normal. Nothing not hiding anything in it so i just go and send it off the way i usually do all right i take it and so off. so for those of you who don't know just because laura asked me and making her character and such was how how the stuff works so they don't have telegram they have ethergrams that 
use the either space around it to transmit it so you can talk long distances and such. So in case any of you want to communicate. There's also letter carriers and such that will personally deliver letters and things like that. Um, and then sometimes the um, skyships or the airships rather will um, transport if, if people find that they're going to a particular town, um, each carrying different, you know, costing different places. But so when you hear either gram, that's basically what's going on. All right. So everybody gathers back on the ship, eats mm -hmm. any other plans? Nope. Nope. Uh, nope. Like just, scanning faces. Um, just mopping. I'm going to get back. I'm shouting at Zeb. Ain't nothing funny about polishing masts, Zeb. <laughs> I'm going to check the bag to make sure that there are some apples in there. And if there aren't, then I would have grabbed a few more on our way. Um, uh, that's a variety of, of different fruits okay. and vegetables and such. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to grab an apple, two apples out of the bag, and I'm going to climb up <laughs> into the mask to my normal spot. Okay. Well, somebody nope. stops me for some reason. <laughs> nope. Other than the activity that you see with Val and, you know, talking to Zev, that's the, um, the bulk of what's on it at this point. Yeah. Cattell hasn't made it back yet. Um, and Cedric is mopping. I guess he's moved upstairs by now. If this took a couple of hours. It's very clean down there below decks. All right. So. <clears throat> this ship has never been cleaner, guys. <laughs> yeah, no, that's right. It's like, <laughs> it's like a jewel now. Yep. Uh, next thing it'd be like, have you ever taken up painting? Or paint the ship. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so you, you gather, you have uh, dinner in various forms, whatever, or you don't come down. It's, it's relatively uneventful, uh, evening. Um, you rest and early next morning, you're awake into the sound of, of, of a bell. Bing, bing, bing. Um, as you see, uh, Zev ringing the bell, captain is up on, up on deck, um, Val's with him. He's letting Val take the the piloting on this one to, to, to get them out of uh, off the harbor. And you see there's activity outside there. So they're un unmooring the the airship and such and um, the dock workers and such are, are unmooring it. And um, you see, so the way the ship is, it's got it's got sails on it that can un that actually fold out and unfurl and stuff depending upon what wind conditions are like. And then there's these two large um, uh, turbines on each side as well. Those are powered by the engine that Lexi's maintaining. And you see them kind of turning and such and adjusting themselves, and then they kind of start kicking on, and it pushes it back because there's not the right kind of wind to pull back. But then it backs out of the um, out of the dock until it clears the area. Then the engines kind of turn and where it's just uh, adjust where it sits and hovers as Zev and um, Sakabi and such start working the sails up and it catches a wind. Oh, and you Lauren is up. at the side like what, of the ship. Oh, I thought you were up high. Oh, I thought you were up in your... Uh, up, no, up she, would have, she would have clambered down because from what you're describing to get the full view, she would have needed to be on the on the deck to like look over and see as opposed to the mast would be in the center. So she wouldn't be yeah. able to see off the side. No, yeah, much. yeah, so, definitely not like, yeah, the, the, yeah. the full the full. She probably view. would have started up there, but she probably would have come down for breakfast. So once all of it's going, she's like, yeah, she's okay. like over the edge. Like, <laughs> so it's very, it's a little vertigo on there as you kind of pull back and you see like the full expanse of, of um, the ground and as it starts to, to also lift up in the air. So the surrounding areas of the Shattered Lands too are, <clears throat> it's made up of a series of canyons that rise up. Um, the, the, the city itself is sitting inside these canyons. They rise up thousands of feet. At the very top, it's flat, but up there is lots and lots of dangerous things that like to crush 
little airships that fly up. So the airships t really actually use the, the canyons to navigate around, they actually pilot through the canyons and stay below that level, um, almost like, like, um, like they're sailing down rivers and navigating through those things out there. <clears throat> so once it gets up enough height um, that it's out of the traffic of the Sky Harbor, it turns and then heads off in um, the direction of where um, um, Harbor Rock is. Sorry, got the name of my own town. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So as you're sailing through the spaces out there, the um, there's a lot of, of of activity going on immediately as far as getting out of out of the harbor. But then once you've kind of parted ways, things start to settle in. Things uh, sails are secured, and um, it's it's a little bit more quieter on the ship. And it gets very quiet, other than the wind just blowing through and the um, through the canyon as you navigate around. But it's quiet, and the bustle of the city is soon behind as you round a bend in the canyon, and now it's just you sailing away. Takes me over. Sorry. <laughs> I came up with a different song entirely. Which one was yours? I think it's Kansas is um Come I'm sail away. Sailing. Come sail yeah. away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I listened to that album way too many times when I was in high school. <laughs> and all I pass in my head is dust in the wind. <laughs> That's another, yep, that's another good one. Uh, um, Cedric's at the back, um, just like staring straight down into the canyon, um, leaning over the side of the railing. Um, it's interesting, too, yeah, as you're going through the canyon, just how deep these things are running. It's thousands of feet. So, I mean, you're like very high off the ground, and yet the canyon walls rise above you. Um, or many more. Um, so as you navigate, do you see um, down below? It's more or less just like rock and dirt and things like that. Occasionally, you come across like a little, um, little tiny forest down there somewhere, or or what looks like a little lake, but very very not too much as far as vegetation or whatnot in this on this trek. Um, in some places, the um, canyon walls become very narrow. And the ship just really slips through, and in others, it's it's um, very very uh, like spread across, like enough where you can fit like you know ten of your ships across it. Um, so, Lorna think, would clamor back up unless there's something that she gets told to do. So she's gonna once we're out of this harbor, she's gonna clamor back up and see how far like she can see and things like that. Um, yeah, it's amazing how, how, up, how far it's like out in the distance outside of the turns and such for the canyons and, and such. I mean, that sometimes it's shorter visibility, but when it opens up, it like spreads out before you and it's a breathtaking view and the skies are clear. Um, and again, as I said, it's quiet. Um, the, um, day passes without any, uh, um, any events. You do notice like there's other canyons kind of branching off of the one that you're traveling down, but um, Captain seems to know where he's going, or Val does, because Val's doing the piloting, but the Captain's there with them, and they're talking about various things. And occasionally the Captain will call out an order to um, to Zev or Sakavi, who, who take to it and such. Um, occasionally he'll ask one if one of you are up on deck too, just like to grab something or tie something down or whatever, just something that you, nothing that's too complicated that you can't go, okay, let me do this one thing. And he leaves Cedric to his cleaning. Um. He's, he's, he's stopped cleaning, but he's, he's just uh, like enjoying being up in the air, just uh, walking around, like doing the hand thing, you know, where the hand's like flying. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'd say up, especially up in the crow's nest up there where it's just, there's like the sails and the, 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 the oh, sides yeah. of the ship, or it's just the wind is just blowing. blowing After a while, hair. Lorna would close her eyes and just listen to the wind um, for a while and just enjoy feeling it on her face and in her hair. And like wind will 
unfurl her wings and kind of like whoosh, and then come back and whoosh, and then come back and just keeps seems to be playing with the wind. If you get lost, I'm not going back to find you. You'll get to answer. <laughs> I'm working the engine room. Sure Unfortunately, <laughs> the good thing is, yeah, the engines you, you don't need them right now because the winds are strong. Okay, um, awesome. I thought so make yeah. sure we stay up. <laughs> well, that's a different means, um, which exactly. you've taken care of as well. Um, <laughs> so they air, airships stay afloat through flowstone, which is built into the the wood of the ship, and it's powered by essence, which is magical energy. So essence is invested in it, and that's the more that's in it, the more lift it can get. Um, and as it wanes out, it descends. Um, the everybody settles in for the evening, eats when it has a fine meal. Um, probably would say it's like a little bit after sunrise on the next day, though. Uh, um, Sakabi starts ringing a bell and starts yelling out, "On deck! On deck! On deck!" Ding, 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 ding. Lorna's I up am... in the crow's nest and totally like looks over like, what is going on? <laughs> you see the... there like immediately. <laughs> Ew, I'm running. <laughs> the captain, um, you see he comes comes up on the deck and, and um, Sakabi's like pointing off to the sides of the canyon wall and everybody's eyes was looking at it. It kind of also starts looking at the wall. And you see um, nothing there at first until the wall sides of the canyon walls start moving um and look like detach things these objects are detaching themselves from the sides of the canyon walls and are starting to glide in towards the ship um and the uh captain kind of looks around at everybody look like kind of keeping track of like who's on deck and who's not on deck and whatnot and um says to Val, like, like well it looks like we're gonna have some trouble with some ramps get up everyone shouldn't be too hard of a tussle mm -hmm. how many are there roughly Let's look. Let me bring you guys over to my scene. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> right, hey, hey. There you go. Okay. Me neither. Oh no. Oh, I should pull up my character thing. <laughs> That's where you're attached to. Is it supposed to just be a black screen? I'm just yes, it's just, okay. yep. I was like, oh no, is it not working? <laughs> and we're dead. Okay, you guys, new characters. You keep saying that and it's gonna happen. So <laughs> I was so, so close weird. to death last time. I was like, I'm just like, okay, no attachment. <laughs> yeah, best that it happens early. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Before you really love your character. So you can't see your you can't see anything on the screen? Nope. Nope. Attach your characters. Are not Wah, wah. But they are. I don't understand. It's lying. I see Canyon Run at the top. Yeah, that's the Canyon Run. So that's good. All right, I'm going to drag I can't remember. Cedric back in here. Now do you see anything? No. Uh, no, just Cedric. Oh. Nope. Nothing? Could be misplaced, so I have no idea. Mm -hmm. Configure permission. You are the owner of this token. Anybody uh, watch Napoleon Dynamite? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That song about technology is running through my head. <laughs> <laughs> just once, we'd like to have a stream where it just works. <laughs> Every teacher everywhere has said that sentence. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what's funny too is as like this thing with everybody going remote and whatnot and having to work this way. So I've done virtual stuff for years and years and years and years, and I've never had more problems than since when the entire world had to go virtual. And now all of a sudden everything's breaking. <laughs> I'm like, it's because everybody's be? using it. Yeah, it must be. Um. Yeah. 
what's going on here? Do you want us to try and refresh? How about that? I did, and it's still not doing anything. But you're in scene. I yeah, it see says it says nothing. welcome to Ith Realms Canyon Run up yeah, at the top. Run on yeah, you're definitely then that's that's what you need to be seeing. I, I can kind Captain. of see like a <laughs> You need to turn the lights on. <laughs> <laughs> I can kind of see like a gray box sort of maybe in the square. That's box. oh yeah, that gray, but that's just that's your view, so that's Yeah, I'm, I'm that's I'm nothing. Out. Maybe I'm zooming. I don't even have that. Just got big well, I can barely see it. It's because I zoomed. I zoomed out as far as I could, trying to kind of see something. But my character sheet, if we're gonna be. <laughs> I know. I'm I like, okay. I'm like, oh no! I just closed like, actually, mine. like roll stuff here. Yay! Let me Pop refresh. Pop out. I mean, it gives me a second to look at what I can do. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm like, like oh, look I, quickly. <laughs> We got new spells, guys. Apparently, we leveled up. We're, I got a new spell. I don't know. We got stuff. <laughs> I miss my melee characters. It's like, I just hit things harder. <laughs> Anything changing? Nope. 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 Story of playing a barbarian or a fighter. I just <laughs> hit things more. <laughs> yeah. Can you hear anything? Don't come after nope. me, Internet. That's an oversimplification. I know, okay? <laughs> I understand. You see a ghostly outline in the black. Yeah. That's that's your that's just your panning where you're sitting at on your Zoom. Let me try. I'm just going to turn this off and see what happens. Oh, 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 there yeah, we, go. we can hey. I can see stuff now. All right, can you click on your token? I don't see my token. Hold on. You're up at the front. Uh, I forgot. How do I move that? Oh, that that's how. It, okay, hold on. Ah, and now I can see it. Where's Wait, my? I'm up fog. front. I can't see anything now. <laughs> You're right here. Oh, I'm up There's, there. That's Katel. Yeah, that's that's about. That would be right. Oh, I didn't There's want to Lexi. do that. I messed up. I don't get rid of that. Right. All right. Can you click on your token? That's. <laughs> oh, can yes. I click on it? Yeah. A yellow square popped up or orange square? Yeah, and yep. if you double click it, brings up my sheet. My sheet should sheet pop up. Mm -hmm. Oh, my sheet's already up. Oh, my well, yeah. Up your sheet's already up. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I right. kind of always they, have it up. Do you see the trouble there along the sides of the ship? That's what's coming at you. I see trouble. Okay. Trouble. okay. Did you mention there's music too? Because I don't hear that. No, there's just wind blowing. Okay. I don't hear wind. <gasps> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I love the clouds moving through. This is so cool. Oh. It's better with the wind blowing. <laughs> now, why am I not getting wind? Where's my wind? Oh, well. Uh, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I just turned like a chrome up all the way. How oh, no. That? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I hear it. Now Yay! I hear it. I cranked it up, and now it's too loud for me. <laughs> so I'm going to turn yeah. it down. <laughs> I dunked it all the way up and now and my it's hair. way too loud. <laughs> okay. All the new toys, now guys. <laughs> Alrighty, so what we're gonna do now is roll for right. initiative, which you this guys don't have to worry about. I should oh, be able to just <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yay! <laughs> yeah, how do we roll Which I don't even where's it at? <laughs> there it is. I got it. Okay. No, really. Where where's initiative? It's on on combat. Yeah. Oh. It's on the combat. Yeah. Panel. Like kind of like. There the, it is. Yeah. Hey. Ooh, that's a good one. Now, role. Rob. Now you can do it. Okay. I just I had to I had to start it. Oh, so now we can roll it. Yeah. That's a little better. Seventeen. What? What? <laughs> all right. All right. Wait, where's my question? Question before we get started, uh, DM. It's mm -hmm. on combat, uh, right underneath offense. There's status effects, uh, and then there's initiative. Oh, thank you. Is the captain uh -huh. grabbing the wheel, or am I? Still... He's gonna grab it. Okay. As he pulls out um, this uh, one-handed shotgun type thing out there, so he's gonna one-hand drive, <laughs> navigate, yes, the shoot, shoot anything nice. that comes nice. out. <laughs> Beautiful. Yay, captain! a lot of zero rolls <laughs> no those are that's the um 
theirs are coming in. All right. I'm feeling like Lexi's going to go first with that 22. I don't think I'm going to beat that um, anymore. I rolled a 22 as well. Yeah. Oh, right. look at you, like right on. And then Cattell with a 21. Yeah, what the I know, right? <laughs> Let's I'm go, ladies. We got college. this. We're going to handle all do, of it. I don't know how to do my my class at all. Don't this either. I don't think anyone does. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a lot of fun, guys. <laughs> Maybe this will go better than the last mission. Maybe. <laughs> Everybody just stares Don't at each other. Jinx us. I'm wearing a lucky shirt tonight. It's <laughs> Don't pick up anything that could be a trap. <laughs> Seriously. No no um, playing with puzzles. Well we'll go we'll start with um because it does sort up based on that. So Lexi, you are up first. So you see I these am first. Yep, these um <clears throat> flying reptilian looking creatures. Look like about the size of a small um, dog. Okay. I am, let's see. Okay, at each square is how much in distance? Five feet. Okay. Oh, so everything's pretty much in range for me, right? Yes. Okay, so I, wow, you guys are going to see what I can do. Um, <laughs> I know. Uh, I am going I'm to for do cover. <laughs> destructive blast since they are oh, flying in. Um, I guess I will. Since that one, you see that one? Yep. That's the one I'll go after because that's like the first one I see. Okay, so in your combat one, you should see that destructive blast attack. Ooh. Okay, well that's a hit. <laughs> As you see, she. Electricity. <clears throat> oh, you're doing electric. Oh, you're, are you doing electric or are you that's doing destructive? That's destructive blast, isn't it? The electricity. You got, you got two. No, you have the electric blast, and the destructive blast is just raw energy. Okay, energy, whatever it is. I got him flip flop then. <laughs> yeah. So you see, she just kind of starts out her her um, eyes little flickers of lightning kind of as she, and then just a big blast of white blue energy just shoots out. Um, go ahead and roll your damage. You hit. Damage. Uh, right there. <laughs> 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 wah, wah. <laughs> At least I hit it. <laughs> well, Hey, it's one less than what it was before. Right. <laughs> Cedric did more damage to himself the other night. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, man. All right, so you hit it, and it as it's coming swooping in, and, and it kind of cocks off the side, but still manages to keep up and is coming inward. Which takes us to... Lorna, as you'll notice, you're glowing. That's how you know whose turn it is. Oh, that's cool. Ooh. Okay, um, so I have a question because I'm confused by deadly shot because it says that I have to... <laughs> She's trying to tell you. You gotta <gasps> listen. <laughs> like I, was... I will go shut all my windows in a moment. Let me just attack. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> is that the neighbor kid? <laughs> It's a Monday night, guys. What are we celebrating? <laughs> um, all right. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, because it says uh, you must choose whether or not before I make the attack roll, which is fine. But it, it said something about I have to use martial focus. Where do I know where that you is? You have martial martial focus is just it's one you used to have one every single round. Oh. So it's okay. when you start where you can do multiple things, you can expend it, but you can't like if you have three things do it and multiple use it. times. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Well, I can only do it once. So um, I'm going to go ahead and use piercing shot to add damage if I hit. So that's, I just say it, right? Yep. Or not piercing, but. Um, and tell me shot. which one you're attacking. I'm going to attack this guy. Where are you? Oh, okay. Um, oh, the same one. That's the same one that just got hit by. Um, oh, is it? It's still there, though. 
okay, sure, why not? Let's let's gang up on one and finish it. Hopefully, maybe I don't know. Yep. Um, all right, so I hit this. I think. Oh, that's not great. <laughs> yeah, that's not great. Okay, oh, that's that... not great. <clears throat> so as you're li you pull out, and you line up your shot, and you. Lexi's blast knocked it off your course as you're getting beat on it and your sure, arrow. Sure, blame me. <laughs> eh, you know, somebody's got to take the heat. I mean, I'm up in the crow's nest, so it's a little bit of a angle thing, you know? Right. So your shot goes a little, yeah, it goes a little wide because uh, it would have hit where it was, but not you where You got to figure at. out the wind, too. I mean, yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. this is my first time shooting from a moving object like this. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to go shut the windows in case that happens again. <laughs> All right, could tell. Okay, so I have a question. Mm -hmm. um, do I have armor at this point? Like do I you should. have armor? Let me pull up Cattell. Um, yeah, you should. Um, I don't should be see under your listing. talents under technique. Talents and um, and look under summon equipment. Okay. Okay. It's just that, like, in the combat section, it doesn't have any ar actual armor listed. It just has my spear. Mm-hmm. Because so, I didn't know what you would be summoning, so. Oh, okay. So that's something we'll have to figure out. Yes, we'll have to figure that out on what you okay. summon. Okay. Well, regardless, I would be summoning my suit and my spear. Okay. So to I'm summon, not sure how you... that works. It's an act, so um, basically you spend a point of essence as okay. a swift action um, to conjure a weapon, a shield, or a suit of armor into your hands or directly under your body, and it stays there for one minute, but mm -hmm. you have each one cause is an action. So one action, so you can do, because it's just a move action, you can do two, so you can summon like armor, weapon, and then that's it for this round. Well, I can't hit anything anyway, so yes, I would summon my armor and my spear at the same time. And you say that takes an essence? Uh, takes two essence, because it's a point of essence for each essence. one. OK. All right. How does this look as she's doing this for those who have never seen her do this before? I know. <laughs> OK. So standing at the front of the ship, um, Katal, you know, looking around, notices what's going on, and just in this kind of whoosh of air and um, kind of this bluish light uh her clothes change into a uh, suit um that's not like skin tight but it's it there's nothing really a whole lot to it it's a it's a body suit um and in her hand appears a long spear and she after the light goes off or fades out that's what she's in and she just stands out there ready for whenever anything comes into range. Instantly battle ready. Mm -hmm. I should like do some kind of effect on her. So when you do that, like she, her yeah, token like, changes oh, or yeah. something. <laughs> that would be cool. I just imagine Power Rangers. <laughs> I mean, kind <laughs> of. I have an explosion behind me. <laughs> <laughs> no, she does a little twirl with her spear and the yes. slam set the yeah. end on the ground waiting. <laughs> Call and it that my spear. Shimmer oh, across power. her as a final thing. <laughs> Ready. All right, so that's her action. Then it's uh the captain. He's going to take his short. It's for okay. So he grazed one <laughs> <laughs> as he's shooting over this guy over here. He kind of turns and shoots, and I did not do well on damage. Um, just a little concerning now. Uh, Sakabi unfortunately has a big, huge axe and cannot do much of anything. Um, he will, though, let's see. He's going to move. One, two, four. He's going to move up here. 
just because you don't so you don't get surrounded. So he <laughs> runs up with his big axe and ready to fight. Uh, now it's my turn. This guy comes at the captain. Badoosh. And misses miserably. Pat. Lovely three. Okay. Cedric, you're up. Okay. So I've been reading my abilities and um, I'm trying to figure this out. What is this um, nuke strike thing I've got? What does it do? <laughs> <laughs> it says atomic warfare. <laughs> this one says biological warfare. I'll go with that one. Uh, but uh, so if I draw both of my weapons at once, I don't yet have the ability to reload, right? If if uh, if I have them both drawn at the same time, is that true? That Do I need a possible true. reload for that? Yeah, you don't okay. have that. Okay, all right. So he's just gonna draw his um, hand crossbow, left hand, uh, raise it up, um, pivot uh, ninety degrees to the left, and fire off a shot at this one that's menacing the captain right here. Okay. Um, and I click this one, I think. Well, that was so close to a 19. Yeah, <laughs> I, I know. Like, I was like, oh, <laughs> I was like, come on. Still a hit. Story of my life. <laughs> All right. And then I hit my damage die, right? Yep. Okay. Nice. <laughs> we are really not rolling great on the damage, guys. Is, I mean, is there, I, is there I didn't even to... hit. <laughs> Is there additives to damage dice, or is it just the flat damage from the weapon? It is just the flat. Okay, got it, got it. Okay, then with uh, with my with the expert with reloading, with that crossbow, yeah, yeah. With my expert reloading, I'm gonna reload as a free action, and then okay. I'm going to charge um, towards the thing. This one here. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's uh. It's only 25, we'll say 30, because you got to go up some stairs. So it's 30 away, which okay. is your move. All right. And I think that's all I can do, right? So I, I shot, I reloaded as a free action, and then I moved. Yep, that's it. Okie dokie. All right. This guy here comes at Zev. Laughing still? He is. He's laughing hysterically, and so hysterical because I gotta look up, see what it. Because I may have no, I didn't get him. Now he's really laughing because I missed. <laughs> he's like a reverse Hulk. I'm always <laughs> happy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, now the actual PCs are in danger because this one here is coming right at Tell. So what I need you to do is on your sheet, you'll see on combat, I'll say total defense. Click that because you roll. I don't roll against you. So total defense. Total defense. Okay. And you just dodge the side as it just right past you. Sweet. But it was just a setup because here comes the other one. I'm just getting dive bombed over there. Yeah. Shoo, 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 shoo. yeah that, well, you like no, the big beacon get all of light. No, she's going to and she's going like, <laughs> Seriously. Do I do it again then? Yes. Or a C close. Okay. Yep. Even better. See so she is. She's all like, Ooh, goes into bullet time. We knew she was badass. <laughs> Seriously, right? All right. This guy's coming after. Oh, a minotaur friend. Oh, somebody got hit. Uh oh. These things don't are too bad. Okay. And put that on him. Okay. Now it's Zev's turn. He takes a swipe. Every time you say Zev's, I always want to go, Zev's dead, baby. Zev's dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just making sure that Wynn does not get a turn, right? We're not doing that, correct? Okay. Yeah. I was just like, all of a sudden I thought about it and I was like, I don't think so. Not yet anyway. Not Got yet. it. Well, you haven't sent me her character sheet, so I don't know. 
I gotta do that character. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I keep forgetting. All right. The clouds are so cool. <laughs> yeah, I right. love that. It's just such a cool effect. Thanks. Bow. Mm -hmm. Roll a total defense as uh, from the backside. Coming in. <laughs> 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 I apologize. Just I haven't middle school since you were. Just total defense. <laughs> oh, 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 no! Oh. That was like, it almost looked cocked the way it was landing. <laughs> yeah. Man. All right. Uh, my little friend here. You take a point of damage. One yeah. seems to be the, the a trend here yeah, for damage rolls. That is the theme. <laughs> so you take one vitality damage, Val, as um, <clears throat> paying attention to all the actions up in the front. Some of these ones from behind came came in and caught you. Uh, where's this one going to go? Oh, this one's going to go right here. So many of them. Against... How big are these things? Are they like? Like, they're about the size like a like a small dog. They're just. Okay. This big. Yeah, they're just little things. That's um, gonna be hard to Bad hit. puppy! Bad! <laughs> bad flying lizard puppy! Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if I got... Um... Oh, I'm on the wrong thing here. I'll, I can do this. That's what they look like. Eee. Oh, those are disgusting. Yeah, those are called ramps. I don't want one. You don't? <laughs> no, they're not cute and cuddly. No. But they're, they're great dogs, can openers. Cute little dogs. <laughs> like dogs, but I'm done. I'm it's like you lied. So All right, on Cedric. Um, <laughs> See a roll... little flying corgi? <laughs> yes, like... <laughs> <laughs> hey, roll your de total defense, Cedric. Old defense. And what's the difference between total and f finesse defense? The nest defense is when co is like if somebody was trying to like trip you or it's for certain combat maneuvers. Oh, oh, oh okay. Gotcha. Versus a straight attack. Straight attack. So okay. is total defense in place of an AC? Yes. Oh, 18. Uh, yeah. Interesting. I like the idea of the roll. Yeah, it's kind of fun. Yeah. Well, it's I wanted it something that's more when so that way when it's not your turn, you're still things are still going mm -hmm. on for your character versus just okay, well, I'll wait till I get to go again. Mm -hmm. Um, because it's the same. It's just the reverse of what it is. So it's. He's just he's rolling against a set attack for the for them like you're setting against them. So anyway, long story. <laughs> it misses you is the short story. <laughs> as you dodge it, it. Yeah, as it comes from behind you, anyway. you didn't even like it thought it like had a beat on you with with your back turned. It just it, instinctively you knew it was there and shrugged aside, missing the snapping jaws. That thing's about to get hit. All right, Val, mm -hmm. you're up. Uh, are there any kind of penalties for being so close and firing with a pistol? Um, I don't think so. F I got checked for you. Depends if you've got. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is going to for you. You need to. Um, yeah. That's fine. I'll just change what I was going to do since I got one on my face. I'll just uh, pull my rapier and uh, pierce at it. Okay. That strikes true. Okay. Damage it up. There we go. Finally, good, good, good. Good. the one first. Ooh. Ew. Uh, ah. oh. <laughs> I, I turn to Cedric and go, mop. <laughs> 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 These things kind of splatter, guys. Yeah, he like pops it. Watch out for the <laughs> splash just, <laughs> All over the deck. <laughs> that that splattered a lot bigger than I thought it was going to. <laughs> Clear that up. <laughs> All right, so that thing is dead. Damn. All right. And oh, can I, uh, real quick? I know it's not yeah. a term, but can I move? Um, yeah. I guess I can't. Is it shift and? 
if you ping it, I'll just move you there. It's there. Um, if you hold right your um, control key down, right that's how you draw. Yeah. I missed it. Where? Okay. Okay. You move over to that space. Um, all right. So this one here comes at you, Cedric. That's a defense. Okay. Total defense. See, some of them like fly out of there and then just slam. Yeah, stop. that was what happened. There mm -hmm. was like, it, uh, yeah. So I guess how the computer is feeling. What's funny is it looks different for each person. So sometimes you're like, oh my gosh, that was so aggressive. And to me, it's like barely rolls across the screen. I'm like, yeah, that was fine. Um, you are hit though. Uh, for three, promise. three damage, Cedric. Three vitality Which is points. reduced by one from my leather armor. That is armor. correct. Okay. From, for your damage reduction. Which Cattell will have to remember because you've got armor now. So when you take damage, yeah, I got to look. We'll just say it's two for right now, like two damage reduction, because I got to look to see how strong your armor you can make. Okay. Um, and your that that description's pretty long, so I got to look at it to figure okay. out where it's at. I think it's in there somewhere. I have leather armor as well, and mine is hard. This is two. So. No, it should be DR. Um, should see a DR slash number. I'm just looking at my gear. It says leather armor. Oh, yeah. Go to combat under, and there's armor section there, and it'll show you under, it'll be a DR column. Like yours is one. So yeah. you take, yeah. Oh, so you I reduce see. any damage, you take um, one from every die that's, that's rolled against cool. you. Um, so it hit you. Now the next one. There are a lot of these things. I figured you'd yep. have them. I figured you'd, because they go down quick, but let's not get good rolls. Tell. Well, it, it, we just have Defense. to work, gosh, shake it out. We're good now. <laughs> oh, I just see her just, whoosh, 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 whoosh. I just knock one out of the way with the pull of my spear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this one's going to come after. One minute, my friend. Uh oh. There's a 20. What? So many. Oh, that's the other thing, too. I changed the exploding 20s. They only explode once now. <laughs> what? Come on. <laughs> that's, they don't that's... infinitely explode? Aww. No, they do not infinitely explode. You don't like that Why? I exploded. <laughs> Into a 40. No, I actually didn't know how to do it, and then I found out how to do it. So I was like, oh, you just have to put this letter, and that makes it do it. And I was like, oh, okay, so I can turn it off. Um, <laughs> all right, so he gets hit. All right, and because of that, that's going to be from there. All right. All right. So why not slap slams down its jaws over his forearm? Which Katal would be like, oh my gosh, that looks horrible, except for this one coming in at her. Oh, Total defense. Can she dodge them all? Yes, she can. <laughs> <laughs> Lorna is totally distracted now, going, huh? What the crap? You're like, what the <laughs> hell is going see. on here? It's like a freaking dance. She's, oh, anyone know Capoeira? Yes. There you go. She's yes, Capoeira. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Well, here comes another one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Jeez. They're swarming. <clears throat> That's what they do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you go, girl. I this love is it. brilliant. Now, now hopefully I can hit. Oh, finally, Lord! <laughs> this one lonely one. He looks around. I was like, I guess I'll go for her up there in the crow's nest. <laughs> so roll uh, uh, total defense. <clears throat> All right. She just duck <laughs> <laughs> right over you. And last but not least, this one here. Boy, he has nowhere to go. He's pretty far out, too. Yeah, he is. He's only going to make it to right there. <clears throat> That's right. Line up for me, baby. <laughs> hey, I guess who's it's your turn. We're at the start of the next oh, round. Oh, Lexi. <clears throat> me? You yep, yep. him. Okay. The one that just flew in is the one I'm going to attack. Okay. And With I... which one? <laughs> accidentally closed my character sheet. Let me open that back up. That was a mistake. 
Okay. I am going to do the electric last. It's electric. Woogie, woogie, woogie. No, I'm not going to do it. Okay. <laughs> Some of these may well. just die of old age. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Rocket comes out flinging soup at them. <laughs> Get off my ship! Well, I'm guessing really what we're having, having meat for soup tonight. In fact, he's actually like, hmm, look at all this meat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I was hungry like five minutes ago. Heck, one of them's skewered already. It's ready to go on the fire. It's all, it's all set. Uh, Lauren, it's your go. All right. Um, these ones that are by Zev and Sakabi, would I be able to use um, piercing shot on those? Are they lined up in a way where my angle is that I could do that? Because I'm up in the um, I'm at the up in the mast. Ping where you're kind of, or like what like where you kind of aiming at, and I'll figure right there. Like those guys, because piercing shot lets me yep shoot through multiple. Um, you can get I'm trying to. That one's not. That one's only going to hit one. Or the same thing with the ones over up by Cattell. I'm just looking to use piercing shot. Yeah, I'm just. I'm looking at your your sight lines now. To you can get. Okay. This one here, and this one here, uh -huh. in that shot. Okay. Sure. Why not? Okay. So the secondary. Just because you're. You're okay. technically right there if yeah. you're in the thing, so. So the way this reads is I roll a d20 for the first attack. If that hits, then it can travel through to the next one. Yep, and, goes through it into a, the next with one. With a negative four yep. to it. Do I have to roll the second time or is it just the same roll, but it just keeps subtracting the negative four? Because um, it can keep going as long as it can. Yeah, I know, and it just keeps hitting and hitting and hitting until yeah. it's done. Um, That's a cool attack. Right? That's <laughs> piercing shot right now it's called yes it's piercing shot um the secondary attack is made at a negative four penalty it's so it's another roll because it okay. says the secondary attack which is a cool. roll so yeah so it's so it's um, roll again and then my other question is there's an arrow flight and an arrow sheaf uh, like flight arrows do less damage but go further sheaf arrows do more damage but don't go as far but this is still within their range so yeah okay then i'm going to use one of the sheaf ones Cut. okay Come on. Dang it. That's a hit. Okay. So I hit the first one. Do you want me to roll damage that one first? And then. Sure. Okay. There's the damage for that one. That's crap. Um, <laughs> and here's for, I... the, here's for the next one. So this is at a negative four. <laughs> is the negative four on there? Oh, no, it's no. not. So, so it'd be four so left. That's a miss. It'd be a nine. Okay, um, so okay. you thought you had it true. The little damage nicked off of it, and it just missed the other one. You really got to get used to this. The the wind I really need here. to get used to the whole air thing going yeah, on here. You, you think really I'd be good at it? But, I know. Yeah. yeah you... All right. All right, Cattell. All right, I am going to attack. Um, how do I ping it for you? I just, uh, just hold, click button. and hold down. That okay. one. Okay. Uh, with a mass spear. So do I just uh, click the the where it says thingy? attack? Yeah, and mm -hmm. just click on okay. that. That would be a hit. All Strong right. true. Nice. Um, okay, so damage. <laughs> I like hung out. <laughs> yeah, I did. It was like, just like just gonna chill here. If I want to be this yeah, one or this you, one. You want to do here? So, what do you want to do here? Um. For four, nope. That's it's still, it's still so, uh, kicking. Um, I only have one attack, right? Yes, you only have the one. Okay. okay. You can move if you want, but that's probably not. Yeah. I don't. Not a lot I of mean, room for they you to do move around here. They surrounded. do opportunity. Well, I mean, I could get out of there, but I'm just gonna hang out. <laughs> Captain shoots. And rolls a one. 
and the sad thing is i get to hear the music play for my <laughs> ones and so it does the want want i'm like <laughs> i heard it well he's busy trying to keep her steady I'm assuming oh we're gosh. still moving through the canyon while this is all going on. Yeah, it's still moving. <clears> hmm. <throat> Ramp. Ramp. All right, Cedric, you're up. Um, a uh, flurry of disappointing rolls from my on my part. <laughs> so, <laughs> clarification: um, Does finesse fighting count for my ranged attacks, or is it just for? Um, it's just for your melee weapons. Melee, okay. Yeah. But it, but it will count for my rapier. Yes. Okay, good. So I'm gonna try. In fact, I made that special rapier just so it factors in your finesse fighting ability. Oh, awesome. So you, okay. So you so don't have to add plus them all one in. to the nice. Great. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna try a dual attack. I'm gonna try to be real cool as uh, he draws his rapier. Is that a, is that a free action? To draw a yes. weapon. Yes. Okay. Yep. He draws rapier. Um, stabs one, um, the one on his right, and then shoots a crossbow bolt at the one on his left. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> hang on. I got some stuff for this. I got mixed assault. Um, so, if I'm doing this with a melee and a range, I don't provoke attacks of opportunity from firing right. while threatened. And that would be the ability that Val needs, but he's got it. <laughs> right, okay. Um, and then if I successfully attack two different creatures more than five feet apart from each other in the same round, I make an attack using... You make an attack using the attack action, you gain a plus two circumstance bonus on damage rolls? Yep. Until the end of your... Okay, so I, I don't really understand the wording. But... So they have to be... They can't be side by side. They right. have to have at least a five foot gap between them. Okay, so I think this qualifies, right? Yeah, if you're doing those two two on each corner like that, yeah. Right. Okay, so, yeah, so I guess that would be this one and this one, so I can yep. do that. Yep. Um, and so how does this work now? What do I What do? I do? So you're going to roll your, um, your I attacks? I think I get a minus something for doing a dual attack, right? For a dual attack, yeah, you get uh, minus two. Two. Okay. To both. And I don't see a mod box anymore, so I just do that manually? Or... Um, down below, under... Um, yeah, what happened to the mod box? Let's roll and just subtract two from it. It's a lot okay, easier. great. So first I'm going to go for the stab on my right. <laughs> That's 19. That is a hit. That was like okay. a Sam Regal, just drop it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, tr I'm, trying to, I'm trying to roll high. Um, so like now line what? it up on a 20 and then drop and hope it doesn't drop. bounce. <laughs> <laughs> so now what? Do I roll with the plus two circumstance bonus? Yep. Okay. Nice. Hey. Nice. Nice. So, and then it's plus two on top of this. <laughs> is it plus two on top of this? Yeah, right, you sure. didn't put the plus two on there. Yeah, it's plus two on top of that. Yeah, well, how, I don't even know how you do that because, like, on the oh from the sheets. Yeah, because yeah. I had that mod thing, and now yeah, I noticed that's not there for some reason, and I didn't take it off. So I got to figure out what's going on in the with the um, with the the rule thing because for some reason it took it away and i didn't do anything so technology okay go ahead and do the other one okay but wait do i need to hit both of them or do it's just a successfully attack two different creatures yes you do have to strike both okay so yeah so... maybe you didn't do that well we didn't even add it it's dead anyway yeah okay great i don't understand. I, I i'm still a little bit confused about this but we can deal with this later um I think we all are yeah. Sorry, folks. We all have abilities that we're like, hey, look, we yeah, can so this, fill things. This does something. <laughs> right? For those who are interested in learning more, check out Spheres of Might. <laughs> all right. Well, here's my range attack. Minus two. I also I also think it's... Do I get a penalty for shooting from short range with this? No, because well? no, you have your... Um, um, it's one of your talents. 
Okay. <laughs> Some talent that you have. Okay. Yeah, okay. I can't look. I am can't dig it up because I'm looking at something on this this other sheet. Um, okay. that hits. Great. Here's the damage. Is this plus two? Plus an additional two. So three. Yeah. But it's still okay. going. It's a very weak weapon. Told you you should have gone for the light crossbow. Yeah, well, it can crit <laughs> at certain ranges. And I can dual wield it, which is really cool. You can dual wield a light crossbow. But it doesn't fit into the palm of my hand. No, that does not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This one's on Zev. Okay. There's got to be some benefit to using a hand crossbow. Okay. You can hide it. Hey. Okay. I feel like I should just be smacking these things yeah, away I, from right. me. It's a spear, yeah? I just baseball bat it away. <laughs> just do like, like a, just kind of like a loud, just a batter up. <laughs> just hit them all. I'm just right. like, yeah. Well, I have something ish like that. I'm going to ask about my next turn. All right. Um, roll dodge again because you're pretty right. much going to have a series yeah. of these. <laughs> cool, cool. All right. I feel like I'm just watching for ones. All right, this one's on our mentor friend. Hey, he didn't get hit this round. Zev! Roll well. Okay. That's miss. Yeah, I know. Cedric. What? You're getting attacked. Total defense. Oh, sorry. Total defense. Total Two. defense coming at you. Look at Laura being all knowing everything. <laughs> <laughs> because I've clicked that button like <laughs> 90 <laughs> times. <laughs> um, Just love it. <laughs> the way you said, total defense. <laughs> I, know, I, know, I know that one now. <laughs> Val, you're up. Um, I'm going to swing or um, pierce this one. <laughs> yeah. That was a very I'm not going to say I'm going to try. I'm just going to oh, do it. Mine was really slow. It was just like, ah. Woo, oh, the man. Like there. there we go. Yay. Let I would him like loose. to spend an edge to make another attack action, but I'm going to run by you. I like to be like swinging, but pull the gun and shooting like across this way. At this one, if possible, with my second attack. Uh, for an edge, yeah. Okay. So click on the little star next to your edge, because I'll spend it. Well, there's your roll. Did you spend your edge? Yes, I did. Oh, I didn't see it for some reason. Oh, it's over here. Gotcha. Okay. Which one? This one here? Yes. He did too. Squint. Boom. Squint. Right next to his friend. Right next to his friend. It was like, Bob, are you okay? <laughs> and his head explodes. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> I'll get you out of here. Just stay with me. <laughs> All right. Um, back up to bullet time. What? That's what something called Cockatell's dodging now. It's just bullet time. Oh, oh. <laughs> got it. It's me. What? Oh. oh. Good luck. I may have got you. Where what is, is my. I don't know what my thing is. Your, oh, um, what? what? Whatever oh. the. Your threshold? You to... Yeah. You're on it. Which means I hit you. But whatever the damage is, you minus two from it. There, so sorry. Oh, thank you. I have the ammo. Took sorry. a point of uh point of damage. That's with the minus two. So you only Where took a point I? of damage. Where do I put that? Vitality. Is that in combat or in somewhere else? If it's you on stats. your it's on your first front stats yeah. page under physical health. 
where you got that Vitality. 20. Vitality. Got it. So minus one. Wait. There we go. Got it. <laughs> I think I put it in the right box. You did. You got it. Okay. <laughs> All right, and dodge again. Okie dokie. Should get a roll up to save my life. That's your dodge? You rolled a six? <laughs> Holy cow, she is... She is really, like, zinging all over the place. Well, I know yeah. her character... Yeah, her character is very, very athletic and very, very nimble. I know that for... I want to be like you tell when I grow up. <laughs> right? I'm exactly like, jeez. Like, like, me. My character's right. constantly climbing things and she doesn't move this well. Jeez. <laughs> There's a reason, but you now know. I you know why she's on the ship. Yeah. <laughs> Proving my salt. All right, you got um, this one now. He's also taking a, okay. taking a bite. <laughs> See, that one was just a dink. It was almost <laughs> a two. Oh, Lord. All right, where were we at? That one. Okay. This one here, Lorna. So, although you're not hitting them, they haven't gotten close to hitting you. <laughs> I'm like, I can do that too. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like using the bow to like swipe it away. <laughs> Um, and you got another one behind you. Yep. That swoops up oh, from down awesome. below, and that is a hit. Okay. Um, for only one after your damage reduction. Okay. So one vitality. All right. Ow. Go, and Lexi, Lexi Blast you're up. All. Okay. The one that's, I guess, coming from behind that I missed. Mm-hmm. So that's one. All right. Oh, gosh, when I do that, I like my character sheet always wants to go like behind. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, I am going to try, um, you know what? Yeah, electric blast. I'll do that one again. Because it's still a ways, like, because it's high, right? Yep, it's up. Yeah, because she's okay. up above you. Like, nothing's in melee yet. In fact, I forgot we can do that. I can put her. With there you go. No! Damn it! Oh, no! Oh, man. I heard oh. that one. So did I. Yeah. It was wah, real wah. quiet, but. Okay, Lorna. <laughs> That's the end of that. Do you want to move or anything? Or... <laughs> Who, me? Yeah. <laughs> I just want to go inside. <laughs> it's okay. It's <laughs> never the night. I'm gonna go work on the engines. Um, <laughs> I mean, were I, all the ones beh behind me. Oh, wait, there's. I didn't even see that one. Oh, no. Uh oh. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, no, nope. no, Hanging no, on by a thread. No, no. Still there? They're kind of moving. Oh. Kind of. You're just kind of there. Okay. You can do it. It's, it's, yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, all right. I think. I'm trying to do the little dragging thing. I really Hold your control key down. Or just ping where you want to go. Customer service person is going to talk to Steve um, tomorrow. <laughs> get me over there. Okay. So that way I can start taking in more. Good job. Okay, it's my turn. What about my turn? I didn't get my turn. Oh, yeah, it's because I hit next because I didn't realize I already hit next, so it was actually sitting on you. Sorry about that. It's okay. Oh, wait. Okay, I, I want to do the same piercing yes. shot, but I'd like to go this way. So through this one and then to this one, because it looks like I can. Is that correct? You can get three, possibly. Can I get all three of them? 
you roll well enough, yeah. Okay. Because it crosses through the corner of that one, which technically counts, Okay, so. let's do it. <laughs> Come Zip. on, dice. Let's see the magic. Oh, man, that would have been so great. I just want my cool stuff to work, guys. I know, I know and it would be so cool because I know it. It's like, it's a cool, it's a cool attack. <laughs> <sighs> is it though? Haven't seen it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad. Um, all right. Yeah. 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 That's it. That's all I got. Okay. Tell. Now I have something called double impale. Yep. Would I be able to use it in this situation or would they have to be in a point where it's like one right after the other in front of me? You have, you'll, you do an impale on one mm -hmm. this round and then you could do the second impale next round and then they're stuck together. Like yeah. as you advance in like, levels, you'll be able to do that the same round, but since you only get the one attack right now. Mm -hmm. You can impale one and impale the other. But what if you splend what? an edge? Or you could splend an edge to get to attacks. So I'd be making a kebab here. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I want to make a kebab. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if I hit first. Okay. Oh, say, uh, same one that I hit last time, maybe. Okay. Is that it? Is the... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You hit it. You landed on it. What? You've got. I think you've got the strongest weapon of the entire group. I think. I know. Uh, maybe Val. I'm... I think Val's gun may do more, but. And you roll so poor. That was really sad. I would yeah. like to spend an edge, though. Wait. Well, is it impaled? How do I know if it's impaled? <clears throat> I had to roll a higher damage for it to be impaled. For the impale to take effect, uh, when making well. Actually, no, you wouldn't have hit it at all if you tried to do the impale. Because you oh. take a minus two on your attack roll. Oh, if you're successful, your that. weapon impales the creature, forcing it into a square within your reach if it was not already. Okay, never mind. I'm not going to do the impale thing. Okay. I didn't realize I'd have to take a minus. Oh, I should use that. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, you just, so you just strike it. Yeah. Um. So that was the same one. So that's four plus two, I guess. Yeah. Just that's for, really frustrating. I mean, he's got a little left, but we're just going to end him. <laughs> It was that one, right? No, it was the Oops. um killed the wrong one. Yeah, I just saw it. That one. Yeah. Oh. There you go. <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> It definitely explodes a lot bigger than I thought it would. <laughs> All right, Captain he... Yeah, I guess he can Get a shot up there at the one up there, if I could tell. Or by uh, Lorna. Shit. Yeah, Cattell's got this. She doesn't need no help. Just dodging it all. <laughs> you know, you say that, and then you're going to end up with it. I know. Like, I know. It's going to come up and just like. Could you right? really not put that out in the ether? I'm just going to say. <laughs> I probably, She's going to be like, I, I got this. And this big, huge tentacle is going to come out from the ship and grab her and pull her off. Where'd she go? What just happened? Well, you know, I could get myself out of that too. It's fine. <laughs> you were gonna eat your words so bad. Oh, I'm expecting. I'm just gonna to. laugh. I'm expecting <laughs> to. Someday, someday, it's gonna come back and bite me. All right, now we're clicking. Okay. Finally, these guys are getting in here. All right. What's Cedric. that like? <laughs> I know. Well, heck, I was rolling ones, so it's like this is insane. You were rolling ones. What? Yes. Wait, what? Yeah. Um, <laughs> is Cedric Cat? under the stairs? No, no, he's on the stairs. On the stairs. Oh, I don't see his thingy. Can I? Can I dual attack with a spell or no? Like, can I stab him? No. Okay. So Not anyway. yet. Anyway. What? Not yet. Anyway. Oh, oh, um, we need to talk about that later. Uh, is there any way? No, not really. Huh? I was going to see if I could reload somehow. If I use like a movement action to reload, can I uh, drop my or like toss my uh, rapier up in the air, reload the bolt, 
and then just pivot sideways. Okay, just because that intrigues me, I'll say just make a, a, a we'll say a dexterity check. Because it's a free action to right. reload. So you toss it into the air. Keep it in mind you're in a moving moving ship right now, so the ship is going. Momentum, toss- momentum. <laughs> yeah. I'm tossing it slightly forward, I guess. Right. Compensate for wind. <laughs> so make a dexterity check. Okay. And if you can put, get this is gonna be very that, cool. then you can succeed this is on be that very action. Cool if it happens. Hey, it happened! Hey. Right, so he flings it in the air, hey. and it catches it. <laughs> um, so I, I toss my uh, rapier in the air. I aim the cro- or I reload the crossbow with my free action. I aim it at uh, the one that's menacing Lorna. Okay. Um, fire. See if that hits, I guess. This is minus two. Um, so a success. 17. Okay. So it hits. Um, can I apply the damage to this one if I attack with it? Do I have to choose which one to apply it to? Or how does the cumulative. For the plus two? Yeah, for the mixed assault. Yeah. You didn't do mixed assault this round, though. Well, I'm, I'm about to attack with the rapier as well. Oh, no, you're not going to be able to attack with the rapier. That was... Oh. Mean, that, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was just okay. so you didn't have to put the rapier down to reload. <laughs> well, I thought it was going to be, like, really cool. i use my uh, uh, movement as the, the... Man, one damage. <laughs> All right, That's this thing has been beat. Won. This thing, poor thing has been, like, hit a few times, but he's like, nobody's done enough damage to it, so I'm just going to say he was a weak one. <laughs> Poor guy. It's like he's got. Yeah, because I that was the first thing I. Yeah, yes, I know. No, he was the first God. one hit. When, when sees him get hit, and when just like reaches over and like just punches him in the nose. <laughs> and awesome. That does it. <laughs> and it plummets. <laughs> and looks back and smirks like that's right. That's how. Get, that's how Show you get off. it done. He gives a thumbs up to <laughs> down to. Four thumbs up. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, Zev is still good to go. All right, back up here. Dodge City. (laughs) Yeah. Taking mental notes, though, because now I'm seeing you guys in action, so I'm like, okay, who... No, no, it's fine, it's fine. (laughs) Hey, two of us can't hit anything to save yes. our lives. So but you're, not getting, hit. you're not getting hit either, though. So you're doing good on the defensive I got hit. side. Barely. I got hit. That is true. You did get hit. I got I mean, hit. I got hit. I was, I got I was hit. a 50% at this point because I've had two things try and attack me. <laughs> All right. Now fortunes are changing. Okay. So that's a blow. Zev finally got a blow off. Hey. Boom. Okay. Where are we at? These things, like, I did not take into consideration you guys always have, like, a lot of low damage weapons <laughs> when you're getting your hits in. Yep. Cedric. Doesn't help that our dice are a little defense. Us. Exactly. Yeah, defense. All okay. right. Val. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you kind of have a clean deck up here. Everything's gone. <laughs> I'm not the captain. Um, real quick question. Um, I've mm-hmm. got a note on my sheet that says level two arcane talent question mark question mark question mark. Oh, because I hadn't buy it. I haven't bought it for you yet. I'm I didn't know what you right wanted. Now. I wanted to talk. To, yeah, I needed to talk to you about no, it. I'm I... claiming it right now. <clears throat> oh, okay. I'm gonna teleport. If I can to this one and do pouncing teleport. Ah, okay. With my rapier attack. <laughs> Lord is dodging it, or you can tell it's dodging, and all that she sees is just poof! Blood <laughs> <laughs> splatter. So I, I had it. land here, I guess, to pounce on this one. I don't know how that worked. Don't fall <laughs> off. Boom. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Barely. Hey. I love how his barely hits, like, just, he gets good damage. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> when he hits, it's like, and you're dead, too. <laughs> Slap. 
<laughs> all I right. I was just getting, you know, splattered all yeah, over the place. Like, you look like a I'm Dragon Age game, game right now. It's <laughs> covered in blood. <laughs> <laughs> all right. This one here is still... Katali's on you. Okay. And you're still dodging. And again. Man, that was close. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that she gets a four and they still miss, I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> Teach me. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to feel it's like, is there like a glitch? Did this thing like no, double you, add your defense you, or something? No, you let me. You let me do this. <laughs> I asked, can I do this? And you're like, yeah, sure. No, I did, no I'm looking at it. It's all it's all legit, yeah. Yeah, I didn't realize that this would have that much of an effect, but I'm really glad I did it now. We're all jealous. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what the hell's going on up there? Uh, one more time. Okay. At first when I saw you getting swarmed, I was like, oh no. And then I was like, ah, Me she's too. fine. <laughs> she's like flipping and spinning. And I know, she's just I'm just like, like that's why they're all there. They really just wanted to watch. Yeah. <laughs> they wanted a close up. Death and a show. Exactly. <laughs> well, what's worse is too, is that, um, Lexi, you're up, is that um, if she wouldn't dance so much, she'd probably do more damage when she hit. This is, <laughs> she's, she's so flashy. It's like, nick, 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 nick. It's, yeah. <laughs> all right. So this one here. This is supposed to go a lot faster too. I apologize. This is going much later than I than I realized. It's, all, it's, it's the fault of the damage. Or right. damage. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. Magic weapons all around. Magic weapons, everybody. <laughs> That's what we need. All right, I'm gonna do since I have not had success with the electric blast. I'm gonna go back to destructive blast. Please. For the love of God. Really? You're going to give up on electricity? <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just really glad it's not just me. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad that you're like, yay! <laughs> <laughs> so bad, but at the same time, I'm like, it's not, it's not just me. <laughs> oh so, my. so what has this been looking like while you've been like trying to do magic? Ah. <sighs> Very flashy, just not a lot of it'll all the, sizzle, no steak. Is That's it what it looks like. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Ah. The there Three we go. Elements. Why am I here? Why? All right. Um. To learn the mystery of my broken horn. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's <laughs> all I want to know. Let's use deadly shot again. Uh, so, and I'm gonna go ahead and go for. That one, this one yeah. right up here. Um, oh, okay. So because it's within 30 feet, I didn't notice I had this ability. It's a plus one to my attack and my point damage. Blank. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't realize well, actually, it's not 30 feet because you're also 20 feet up. Oh, OK. So then none of them would really be 30 feet. No, this one, that one you were just on, this one right here would be. No, that would be 40. Well, from 20 uh, it's 40. Feet, yeah. 40. Well, that'd be 35. 35. Okay. That's fine. OK, so I don't get to use that. All right. Um, well, come on. Hey! hey yes! Oh my gosh. <laughs> it strikes right. true. Now what do I do here? Deadly shot. Uh, Deadly shot me. <laughs> so I get to increase my attack damage by 1d10. So it's... So first I roll a d8. And then a d10. That's why it's deadly. The one bites the dust. Cool. Oh, yeah. oh. Hey, that thing is splattered. And it was this one, right? Yeah, that was that one. This goes over yeah. my shoulder. <laughs> it literally, as as Catella's spinning, it like just goes right past. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Catella, as that happens, as you're spinning around and some uh. arrow goes right by your face and the, the guy up. was like this like <laughs> coming down there <laughs> his mouth is all wide open ready for a bite he went <laughs> right into his throat i'm gonna get this one or i'm gonna try to get this one do it that is successful wow all right 
Okay. <gasps> Yay! Yay! Woo! No, I rolled sorry. above something low. Curse flat. <laughs> I rolled above something low. <laughs> <laughs> How very I was unclear. Like, was it a four? Was it a one? I don't remember, but it was low. It was both yeah, times. It was low. Captain can't. He's not going to shoot in Cedric's direction because he's got a shotgun. Mm. Uh, so he's just going to keep the ship going. Okay. Our big Minotaur friend struck true. There's another one down. Okay. Cedric, you're up. Okay, Cedric's gonna stab the the one that's right next to him. Oh, that was barely, caught. but yes. No, you got yes. him. Okay. <laughs> hey! 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 He saw right over there. <laughs> yes, you make finally a sound did it. Like, ah, finally, some luck. <laughs> did it. All right. Um... I'm glad you guys are doing this because I'm not. <laughs> I'm just watching. Good show. She's, good show. She's calling the shots this way and that way <laughs> and that direction. I just do. See what I just I just shot at? Yeah, that that one. Get that one. <laughs> Lexi, Lexi just turns around and goes back to the engine room. <laughs> you guys got this. You got it. Deck, you guys. It's all good. All righty. Who's left? I think we're on Val now. I don't... Yeah. There's only one left. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'm going to shoot at it if possible. Okay. Now, before you shoot... Mm -hmm. uh, do you have point blank shot? Because you're shooting into melee. Uh, no. I think so. All right. Let's see. No. That's going to be tricky. I could. Um... Is it within melee? You're you're in melee with it. Not my. Someone's in melee with it, not me. Oh, I say. am. Yeah. So he's basically yeah he's like. Uh, so Lorna can do it because Lorna's got the ability to shoot. In. Well, let me just uh, spin their essence and teleport pouncing. Attack oh, okay. The rapier. Okay. Or you could just take a step, but yeah. Oh, it's fancier the other way. Yeah. <laughs> Flashy. Oh! Oh! Ah! Ah! One. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is. <laughs> Do you get the crit for that? Oh, nice. Yeah, it it rolled an extra d20. But he rolled a one on the second. They rolled a one on that one. <laughs> All right. So the way the way that crits the way that crits work against uh, minion type things, which is what these are, it just doubles down on the crit. <clears throat> so it's not two rolls; it just doubles up whatever you did. If you're going against a lieutenant or boss the damage um, goes into their wound points. Same against you guys. So if, I, if, if you rolled a one on your um, defense, that's a crit for them, that your damage hits your wounds and it just bypasses your vitality. Wow. Oh, that could be unfortunate. Yeah. All right. So they're all, they're all cleared off. And to cut a long story short, because we're over our time, we'll say that successfully ends this evening. Um, Wait, Next Lorna, session. Lorna, Lorna's just going to lean over and, can somebody grab my arrows? <laughs> <laughs> we got to turn around and go back. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, I think you could probably, um, you got them. Yeah, you could probably get that one probably landed on back. <laughs> Maybe two. Hey, that was like first time okay. of us all fighting. Okay. Yeah. So there we go. Hey. Got see what everyone can do and see who's the misser. So for <laughs> um Cattell looks like a bloody mess, but none of it's her blood. <laughs> 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 just the whole front of the ship. And the back of the ship is just a big pile of blood. The front of the ship's a big pile of blood, and everything in the middle is uh, more or less okay. Well I'll clean it up next session. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of, we are on a weekly schedule now so see you next yes. monday Whee! next monday oh, does anyone yes. want to do a quick plug 
Lorna? No? Cattell? <laughs> Lakeside Legends plays every Friday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, so fun. you can come watch me play um, an with angsty me in chat too. elf ranger. Or no, yeah, ranger. I think it's like, ranger. Yeah. <laughs> That's because people mistake her for a rogue all the time because of she is how very I play rogue. Her. She is very yeah. rogue. Yeah. So. But instead Although nobody of, you know, ever responds to my jokes shotgun. that I put in there, so I feel like I'm like, oh. <laughs> We don't have any mods. It's really hard for us to. I generally yeah. hang out and chat if I'm available. So I do out. see them, though, and I do laugh to myself. So that was best. That's the reaction I'm trying to get. I'm like trying to see if I can get somebody to like snicker crack, or something. I'm like, like, yes, come on. No, <laughs> if I smirk, it's probably because of something you put down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, that's that that that's a fun show, and I'm I'm invested in it because it's getting deeper and deeper into yeah. Yeah. what's going down. Yeah. Um, awesome. Yep. Yeah, so next Monday will be uh, right here back this place, and uh, I promise that had internet issues not like throwing a wrinkle into this, we probably would have been more closer on the, the target time I had, and now I know what the crew can handle. <laughs> just about uh, this yeah just about Correct, this but Cattell and Val can handle and Every sometimes DM Cedric says that. <laughs> <laughs> all right well thank you everybody yep. thank and you. Uh, we'll see you next fun. Monday and be sure Go to back. check out our sponsors link yep. down below yep all down below. Yeah. Yeah. And please check out our sponsors they're amazing they're awesome show some Eat love grand coffee yeah you're some metallic done Come on. Right. <laughs> Cedric will be swabbing the poop deck. <laughs> Get out. All right. Let's stick around for a wait, everybody. Good night. All right. Later. Bye. <laughs>